What's going on, guys? Got a real early stream going on today, just because... What is it now? It's like 7.30. I was just... I, I went to take a nap. I think it was like 7 p.m. yesterday. And then I, I was like... I, I, I get up, I look at my clock, and it's 2 in the fucking morning. So basically, I went to go nap, and I went to have a full night's sleep at uh, 7 p.m. So now I'm all fucked up. And, you know, I got a little bit of work done this morning, and then I was like, well, I wanted to stream last night. I couldn't stream last night because I was fucking sleeping, so I guess we're just going to have an early-ass stream. But uh, what this game is, as far as I can tell, is like this, like, really trippy as fuck just like assassin type game it's like us with like a cyberpunk kind of setting one of those like retro style uh old school it, it's a new game it came out in january well it's still an early release right now technically but it uh it's a new game and like uh, like an old school aesthetic but like very fucking trippy looking clearly the music reminds me of something out of Haunting starring Poltergeist, actually. But, uh, the, so it's an early release, but the full game is ready to go. Let me just, uh, get all my settings here. Last time I had it set, so it, uh, it, it published the VOD of the stream, which I, like, I don't want it to do automatically. I want it to, like, go up, like, unlisted and shit. Um... Because then I don't want people, what happens is people get the notification for the live stream and then they get a second notification for the VOD, which I do not want. Uh, details Gaming Cruelty Squad. I have high hopes for this game. It has pretty good reviews. And like I said, I'm like super into like this kind of uh, this retro FPS style looking shit. Something else weird that happened, like, it scared the shit out of me, actually, when I was getting started with the stream. I had OBS up, and I don't know what happened. It, like, it's in the background, I'm, like, doing other stuff, because I just, I got distracted by something, and then all of a sudden, I'm getting tons of fucking notifications on OBS. L alerts, like, super chats coming out of nowhere, and then I'm, like, looking, I'm, like, what the fuck happened? I'm, like, I'm thinking that, like, I went live by accident. And for some reason, OB uh, Streamlabs just sent a ton of old notifications all at once. Like, I think there were like month old notifications that came out of nowhere and I had to restart it. Well, while, I, while I get this set up, what's going on guys? Let me see who's up at this ungodly hour. Ensauce, how you doing man? Alpha, I do read chat. I'm just trying to get some things set up now. Um... Cruelty Squad, where do I make it now so that it doesn't publish the VOD automatically? I gotta find that again. Unless, oh, there we go. Unless replay once stream ends. And then I'm just gonna send out... Because I haven't been, I haven't tweeted out any of the YouTube streams yet. I usually just do it and whoever's notifications, whoever has notifications uh, comes through. Let me tweet it out. Yeah, actually, um, I saw I saw it fly. But yeah, praise the sun. In term, I've seen this said a lot that this time around now is actually like from a uh, a YouTube meta perspective or whatever you want to call it. That this kind of time, I mean, I heard it more the advice more for Twitch, but this time of day is supposedly the best time of day to stream. Because you have a lot of people who are online looking for something to watch, but streamers tend to, like, not be awake yet. So there's people looking for something to watch that don't have anything to watch. But that's not- I didn't plan it this way. For those of you just joining us, I woke up at 2 a.m. So this is- right now we're at- this is my afternoon. At 7 in the morning where I'm at. But yeah, this game's gonna be trippy as fuck. I'm just gonna- tweet out that I'm streaming Cruelty Squad and we'll get started. Cruelty Squad. It looks cool. I also, I don't know how long this game is. I also picked up Murder House from Puppet Combo. Alright, here we go. Cruelty Squad. Let's do this. Let's have a sip of the coffee first. You know, once I get a better, I saw Elias asking about showing the guitars. 
an oasis of love and friendship. Oh yeah, the vocals in this kind of sound like very earthboundy. Like it sounds like whenever they have like an NPC talking. All right, what do I do here? Return equipment and implants. Oh right, yeah, I got stuff like this here. I'm assuming I don't have any money to buy things yet though. Stock market. I have no money. I have a uh, animal control pistol. As the cost of human life is low, there has been no real attempt to create a tranquilizer gun for security or military needs. Some have, however, adopted these animal control pistols as a less messy way to get past overly vigilant security. And then the KH R5, one of the most widely used submachine guns since the 80s. Unmatched reliability and ease of operation. And then we have expendable, exp well, I said expendable baton, expandable baton. Miss Ebola, thanks for the five. Yeah, I'm up mad early. I woke up at 2 a.m. It's like 7.40 here now. Expandable baton, we got the melee or the... L you know what? I'll have two good different guns equipped. Oh yeah, thanks, Miss Ebola. You were on, I remember you were on for like one of my mad late streams too. So I guess like you were like me, you have no normal kind of schedule. Sigismund of the pharmaceutical department has been embezzling company funds and using them to gamble with highly speculative biological currencies. This will already be bad enough to warrant his immediate liquidation, but he has also become increasingly deranged, flying into fits of rage and vomiting blood all over the office. While you're there, you should also dispose of his accomplice, Jerry. He's scheduled to be hosting a meeting in the other conference room with other executives. Let's do it. Let's kill these uh, pharmaceutical ass motherfuckers. Thanks, Trent, for the troll. And also, visually, it reminds me a lot of... Um, oh, no, it's... Special combat cocktail for me. Feel a little off. Haha, <laughs> well, good luck. Alright. Alright, so... So the shift button does, like, a zoom. What's up, Freddy Mega? Thanks for the five. Wait, reload. Let me look at the controls here. I'm getting mad confused. Because I... I got the grabby hand going for that, but... Oh, wait, what did I just... I pressed the wrong thing. Oh, I, I pressed the restart. Alright. That's not... Settings... Forward... Shoot... Mouse 1... Jump space... Crouch X... Use is R... Kick is R... So, it should be R... Oh, I was pressing E. Okay. What's up, Roy? Thanks for the 10. Back from... Hey, from Texas. Got my water back after... God damn. That's fucking crazy here. Oh, I mean, there, over in Texas. So, like, you guys, like, kind of, like, weren't set up then, like, at all for just any kind of snow. Oh, I see what's happening. The door's pushing me away. Alright. Small cracks permeate the surface. Can I break it? I guess not. Try the other way. Yeah, this game is very trippy. Um, what's the shit? There's like, if you know what, before I go forward, there is another game. It's gonna bother me until I look at it. Another game that I played that reminded me of it. Um, but, but, but Post Void. There's a game I played a while ago, Post Void. It was on my old computer though, and like, even though Post Void wasn't like a super technical game. Okay, all right. So do I? Can I just like? It's a. Oh no, it's a. I'm seen. But yeah, post... Dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. But yeah, visually it reminds me a lot of Post Void, but my old computer could not handle Post Void. Wait, how do I reload again? Yeah, this is just like a very trippy looking game. Alright, reload. 
Input event mouse. Alright, let's just try the other gun. Oh. Wait, what? What is... What is hap... What was that? That just confused me a lot. Oh, hold down a mouse to pull it down. Thanks, Keys and Not. Alright. Since it's your first day... I imagine they'll, like, hear me and shit, so I'm not stealthing this part of the game. Okay, there we go. That's kind of... A little awkward, but I'll get used to it. The green thing is my life. Yeah, alright, yeah, now it's like the, uh, the motion's getting a lot more logical. Those are just civilians. Oh, am I, like, out of ammo now? Yeah, I am. I played Hypnospace uh, Frightening Vines a while ago, but I never finished it. It was a cool game, but then I got to, like, kind of, like, that second part and lost interest a little bit. Wait. Wait. Try a different approach for this. Oh yeah, thanks Ryan Holtz for the the Swedish two hundred. Wait, the enemies drop ammo. I didn't see any ammo. Oh, I gotta, like, actually, like, manually pick it up. Oh, I can use- I can pick this shit up, too. I wonder if it, like, will deflect bullets if I help- if I hold it. That guy just like running around in a circle. What's up, Roy? Thanks for the 20. This is how I want my home to look. Stimuli. You got stimuli. Actually, I didn't. Oh, cunt. I don't. I don't know if I'm getting the stimulus. I. I think there's like some kind of like requirements not on it or whatever. Cruelty squad. Everybody die. Music sounds like Angry Crickets. Thanks, SRM. It, um... Yeah, like, the title screen for musical I said before, it reminded me a lot of Haunting Starring Poltergeist, and now this is just... Angry Crickets is a good one. It kind of, like, on some level, this... Actually, do you remember the PlayStation Doom? How it had, um... 
that one it was a stage you could only get through game shark i think that was like it, it was close i think you could only get it through wait what have i done oh, i picked up a body of a dog No, it was a glitch. I, well, I mean, it was glitchy looking, but I had, um, I'll kick the soda machine for health. Thanks. Um, I had picked up a thing, I picked up a dead dog without realizing it. And it was kind of clipping through me. Um, fucking out of bullets. Thank you for falling over dead, guy. Oh, I ate his body, too. Okay, that'll restore my health if I fucking eat him. You gotta really, like, force down that, that handle to, like, get the reload going. Oh, thoughts on the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, Blundering Fool. I'm stoked on that. When I first saw the, um... The trailer for it, I kind of looked at it, I was like, oh, this looks like, kind of like, uh, like a little overly simplistic for, like, a, a beat-em-up that I would want to play now. But then I saw that it's made by the people who made the, uh, made Streets of Rage 4. Which actually, like, I'm kind of, I've been in the mood to play Streets of Rage 4 again, too. Um. Right. Can I not pick up his gun now? Like... No, he's he literally says you can't even pry my gun out of my cold dead hands. Well that one I could take. But yeah, so I saw the Ninja Turtles game. Um, I'm stoked on it. It like it looks like it's very much based on Turtles in time. Fuck a plan. Oh, I see the civilians I can eat. Maybe not. Didn't get it fast enough. Oh yeah, I heard like they put the Scott Pilgrim game back out, but um, yeah, Streets of Rage 4, uh, I really enjoyed Streets of Rage 4, and I was kind of thinking about how, for me, to, you know, like, even though like, I fucking loved side-scrolling beat-em-ups back in the day, I feel like a lot of them wouldn't hold up today just because, like, they're very, you know, simple and repetitive, but Streets of Rage 4 did a really good job of making it, uh, making it feel more mixed up. Like, full more variety, just out of the combo and scoring system, it kind of, you know, gave you these, like, different goals to want to do. I even participated in some tournaments that was basically about setting high scores. That being said, looking at how... 
I mean, and granted, it's like those like it was just like a gaming gameplay reveal thing for the turtles thing. It looks like it's like still like a simpler game. But I don't know how it's going to be. But I definitely like I realized for a beat em up, a modern beat em up, you definitely like need more depth than you used to really need. I guess on some level, because like just like the novelty of it. We're already past that now. Give me your body so I can eat it, maybe. Oh, I have no money. Let me eat your bodies. Oh, now it's all like starting to click. Banana bread is slept on. Oh, Tranter the Troll. Live in Austin was not prepared for the freeze. Five year pipes burst and it was below freezing in your house. It's no power for 3Ds. Jesus Christ, that's fucking crazy. And I like I was kind of reading something about how like we were like, everyone's kind of like, oh, well, Texas wasn't prepared. But, like, a lot, like, most of the country is, like, not, there's not a lot of things that have to happen for more of the country to wind up like that. Everything is very fragile. Oh, God. That reloading, man. Alright, Big Outcry, Slowtown Sloth, Big out. oh, I fell back behind on the Super Chats a bit. Slowtown Sloth, Big Outcry against the update, lots of anger. I'm not sure which update you're talking about. Fuzio, which, who is the best killer and why is it Ghostface? Uh, wait, I think these are the old Super Chats again, are they? I'm getting notifications from old Super Chats again. Yeah, what's happened? Like, uh, well, I mean, unless you're here, Fuzo, yeah, we we did all these. I don't know why it's sending me old Super Chats again. Well, we got old one from Fuzo and old one from Kanzo. Hey, Dad, it's me, your forgotten new monkeys. Yeah, I remember these. That's weird. They're, show they're coming through Streamlabs. They're coming through Streamlabs, but... They're, like, not displaying in the chat thing, so I know they're the old ones getting shown again. I don't know what that's about. Reloading is taking like a little bit too much for me. Like I keep on like I died there be before because like I'm trying to like do the reload, but it's not going all the way down. Actually, you know what? Let me see what's around here because I didn't look around here. Yeah, are these are like I can't. I have the screen like you can't hear the game. Or is it just that the volume is low and there's not, like, sounds happening? Yeah, it just, like, pushed, like, a bunch of old Super Chats to me, like, out of... And it keeps on, like, pushing them over and over again. That's so weird, man. I hope, like, if, if I miss any, like, new Super Chats here... Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. It's the update for Streamlabs. What do you mean? Like, they're doing something with the servers now? Is that what you mean? Right, 
Did I run out of bodies to eat here? There's one. You know, let me see, like, what's happening here on the Screen Labs thing. I just gotta, like... Well, Screen Labs. I think... I'm pretty sure these are, like, just old ones getting pushed forward. But I don't know how old it is. Like, what's happening here? They're, like, pushing forward the old Screen Labs. This is mad confusing. Doll's eye is too poor to matter, so I won't notice them. I, I will. I will notice them reposting the same comment about being too poor to matter. Oh. Is this like just like putting through like every old super chat that I had? Like, what's. That's that's the I died screen, Chuls Nilsson. I can't even make like this, the screen big enough here for me to like look at what these are saying to like match them up with what I'm seeing here. First thought, Joshua Netherland. Let me match that up to the thing that I have there. Joshua Netherland. These are like... Yeah, that's like a... Five, yeah, five minutes ago, we just it put in like every... Like a ton of old Super Chats. That's a new one from Roy R though. Austin still doesn't have water in places. Yo, that's fucking... Like, Austin is like where everyone like moved to. To like escape... The cities and shit, too. I used to stream mostly on Twitch, but uh, actually, I, I've spoken about this a few times, why I don't really stream, why I've been streaming more on YouTube. I used to not stream on YouTube because I was worried about how it would fuck you up in the algorithm, and that's not really as much of a consideration as it used to be. And also, it, I used to have this idea that if I grew on both YouTube and Twitch, it's like kind of like diversifying my reach. But, realistically, you're not really diversifying your reach because Twitch, nowadays, the only way you grow on Twitch is, you, you the way you grow on Twitch now is you gotta get big on another platform and then go on Twitch. So then it's like, then why even go on Twitch at all, you know? Oh, that's the one from before. Yo, Streamlabs is freaking the fuck out. But someone said that it was uh, something to do with their update. So. I am not a fan of... Like, the game is cool, but then, like, this reloading, like, keeps on fucking me up. Well, I get that it's, like, kind of like an immersive mechanic type thing. But, like... You gotta pull it too low, so like... Yeah. But yeah, the only things that I do think that Twitch has... Twitch streaming has over YouTube... I mean, first off, like, a, a one, like, weird thing that I noticed with Twitch... When it comes to, uh... Twitch streaming versus YouTube streaming... Is that... The quality of, uh... 
YouTube kind of imposes this compression on your VODs. So that in order for you to uh, to have a higher quality VOD, you need to upload, you need to stream to YouTube at a higher bit rate than you would on Twitch. So that's one thing, but also Twitch, one thing is the clips, which YouTube is about to implement. So that's one thing taken away. One advantage that Twitch has taken away. There's something else that Twitch has. Oh yeah, the raids. I would love to have raids on YouTube. And considering like how, you know, you have all your like videos and shit integrated on YouTube. I mean, technically you do on Twitch, but like nobody uses Twitch for that. Oh, I thought maybe I could save myself by 8 flesh when I was about to die. Damn, dude. This game is called Cruelty Squad. Yeah, you have to pull on the, on the lever manually to reload. And I'm just like, I'm not getting used to that. Like, I'm getting used to the fact that you have to do that, but you have to pull it so far. Yeah, there's his gun. You know what's, like, weird, too? Like, most of the games I like to play, it's, like, weird indie games like this or retro games. But I found that, like, the streams I do that get the most viewers was when I was playing fucking... Playing, like, Warzone and sucking ass at it. People tune in to watch me, like, suck ass out warzone and shit like that. i guess because like games like that that in general just have like a high amount of people who just watch it in general they kind of uh have a way of just kind of like browsing around and shit uh, 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 uh. oh god i'm not reloaded i don't know why i said that like boss rootin but i'm not i'm not reloaded they tried to kill me Be a little more careful here. Oh, I think like one of these rooms might be like the actual. Oh, tough guy. <laughs> oh, that's like where what is looking at in the back. Now we got like dumpsters in the back. Do you risk it for the brisket, Roy R? Thanks, Roy. Um, dude, I fucking. It clearly has nothing to do with what you said, but man, I love me a, a good brisket. Who doesn't? I was watching- what the fuck? I'm trying to remember what prompted me to watch the Mark Zuckerberg barbecue the other day. Smoke of meat, so he's got this brisket in the back. But then, like, what really pissed me off, like, I see someone, like, making a brisket. You know, you see someone making a brisket, you want to see the brisket? And he's doing his, like, I think the, the Zuckerberg barbecue thing was set up to, like, show you fa Facebook's, at the time, new live streaming feature, right? So, he sets it up, he's, like, put it on this whole barbecue, and he's like, alright guys, so I'm gonna check on my, uh, brisket. He, and, like, every single time he goes to check on that fucking brisket, his body blocks it from the view of the camera, so you can't see what Mark Zuckerberg's fucking brisket looks like. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Like, you would you would think, alright, so a brisket, you would think, like, oh, you need, like, a real, like, you know, like, southern guy to make a good brisket. But sometimes when it comes to brisket, you'll get, like, these weird, like, nerdy guys who've just, like, spent way too much time just, like, going into the science of brisket. And I feel like Mark Zuckerberg is one of those guys. Mark Zuckerberg could probably make a good-ass brisket. Oh, I like this gun. Oh, wait, I'm, what am I doing? I'm not eating their bodies.
So this gun just like knocks him the fuck down. Thanks, Mike Burtner. Good morning. Saturday morning. Thanks for the dollar, Jose. Is this? Oh, that's like a roll. Oh shit! There's someone in here. No, there's not. Oh, I can free it. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! That's. Oh, is that hurting me? Top. What the fuck? What's happening? What is this? Oh, um, whatever the fuck I just did, I just killed myself. Damn, dude. Da yeah, we're Roy. We're talking about smoking meats. Damn, man. I thought I was so slick kicking open that glass to to kill that person jogging in place outside. Have I ever heard of Arab Andy? Arab Andy, um, Arab Andy's the guy who, like, in the that that heyday of um of IRL streaming, that was like that little moment where everybody was doing IRL streaming. Arab with the, with like the text to speech backpack and shit. Um. There is a point where, like, obviously Arab Andy's uh, Arab dude. So he has to touch. This, he's in a college for whatever reason on his IRL live stream, and someone puts in a super chat. And remember, it's like text to speech with a with a microphone with the speakers. So whatever somebody puts through, is getting read out on the backpack. So he's in a in a college. This Arab dude that nobody knows, and then all of a sudden, someone puts in a super chat that's like a bomb countdown, and he gets arrested. Like, he, you, could, you could definitely find the clip somewhere. He's just, like, freaking out. That, uh, he's just saying that freaking out as the bomb countdown goes. That people are running and fucking panicking. Nothing nothing good ever comes from IRL streaming. Thanks again for the, the dollar, Jose. Like, there's... There's very few stories of IRL streaming that don't end in fucking disaster. And Arab Andy is one of those stories. I don't know if, um... I think he got released from jail, right? Or something? Because uh, I remember hearing about him again somewhat recently. Um, this little corridor. Let's open that up. There's nothing there, but, you know. Eat your body. I like this gun. What are these? Oh, okay. I was like, hearing those footsteps, and I'm like, I know you're looking for me. Where are you? Yeah, there are like a bunch of like old chats coming through, but I think it stopped now. I don't know what happened. It because this happened before, like I said, like when I just happened to have um Streamlabs open and I was just kinda like check. Jesus Christ, man, it dies so fast. Thanks for joining Moirin. Actually, so, like, when people have, like, the member bonuses on here, I have a thing where, um, part of the member bonuses in addition to the emotes and shit you get, there's also, um, you get the first draft of the video before I'm finished editing it. So I have one that, um, I'm hoping to have, like, the regular one up today or up soon. I actually, ha I have two videos almost finished in the tank. One of them is up for the, um... The preview version for the sponsors. The other ones, I'm not finished, like, getting the rough cut together. So the first one that's coming up. Oh, thanks for testing the super chats, lol, no. Um. Th 
it's the first one I have is the broken arm story from Reddit. That yeah, should be up sometime this weekend, if not Monday. Um, yo, so people have been like asking me to do the broken arm story for such a long time. And I was like, yeah, that's like a, a classic Reddit story, you know, I gotta do it eventually. But that story is way more fucked up than I remember. Way more fucked up. Because, like, everyone remembers it. It's like, oh, haha, ha, it's the funny broken arm story. You know, uh, you broke your arms and you couldn't jerk off, so you got jerked off by your parents. <laughs> and it's like, people, it was, it was a meme for, like, ten years and I'm reading it. I'm like, this is, like, a horrible, like, traumatizing story. This is way, it's just, like, way darker. And I don't know if it was, like, if it didn't register to me back then how fucked up it was. Or if it's like a case of like we made it a meme for 10 years and forgot. X Men Roy, thank you, Roy. X Men versus Marvel Universe. Who wins? I mean, definitely screen time. I don't know what you mean by screen time, but. I would definitely pick the X Men over the rest of the Marvel Universe. Jaglieski Gaming. Play your game Computer Virus Simulator. Um, thanks for the 25 Polish, I, ex I assume. For, but PLN and Jaglieski makes me think you're from Poland. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems like, it sounds like the style of game I'm into playing and streaming. I'll take a look at it. Dalza, your references make my sad face smile. I just want to help. Thanks for your amazing content. Thanks. I always, like, every video has, like, little, like, references and, like, quick gags in it that only a handful of people ever notice. But it's always, like, different people each time, which is cool. Try to be a little more careful here. Well, the stealthier. Don't do the broken arm story. I mean, I already finished it. I already finished the broken arm story. I just gotta, like, get, like, a little uh, finishing touches on it. But then, after the broken arm story, I did an interview with the My Little Pony Cum Jar guy. Which, like, that should also be ready to go. Sometime soon. I was actually, dude, I was so nervous about shooting the, uh, the interview with the cum jar guy because it's like i don't i never really did an interview before so i like i had some notes prepared and shit but no i had no idea x-men all day screen time means only dudes on it. dude honestly the last mcu movie that i watched was the first avengers movie Unless you count into the Spider-Verse. But I think that's like a different continuity. Um. Wait, it was- Oh yeah, the interview with the cum jar guy. Uh, the interview is not posted yet. I'm like, I'm- What I'm going to do is I'm recording an intro for the interview where it's kind of like I go through the verification process. How like- because at first, when this guy started emailing me, I thought it was just, like, some dude trolling me. Because, you know, how do you prove that someone's the cum guard? The, well, the cum... Oh, fishies. So there's a whole world down here, huh? Well, that's about it. Um... <laughs> oh, get out of here. Um... So, at first I thought it was just, like, some guy trolling me, because how do you prove someone's the cum jar guy, right? So, he, like, so, when I hit 250,000 subscribers, he, on the subreddit, I have a subreddit, not a lot of people, like, know about it, because I don't use it or promote it that much, but I have it, and, um, he posted a picture on the subreddit, um, congratulations on $250,000, well, 250, 250 subscribers, Wang, and he has a picture of the cum jar with it, or rather he, in the picture is like the two cum jars, his watches, and a fountain pen. 
So then when we when we verified him, he sent me a uh, a picture of the pen and the watches. He let's he doesn't have access to the jars anymore because they're buried in his parents' backyard. And then, on, you know what's after I went through all this, like, MacGyver-type, uh, figuring out of stuff to identify him, you know what? I realized his YouTube channel is still active. And the email that he emailed me from is the same email that's on his channel. So that would have been a way simpler verification process. But all that being said, it's an interview with the authentic cum jar guy. Um, editing it a little bit. Like, in the actual interview, I'm just, like, gonna cut out- Like, there's a few parts where I had to, like, check my notes and see what other questions I had. Um, so I, I cut those, like, little, like, the lulls out. And I'll add that intro, and that should also be up sometime next week. But he wound up actually being, like, a- Like a nice, normal dude. Like, even in the, um... Like, even in the interview I'm talking about, it's like, it's like surprising how fucking normal this guy is. Compared to, like, a lot of, there's a lot of, like, nuts you encounter, like, in this business in general. But, it, like, he is, like, w w way more well-adjusted seeming than a lot of the people I came across doing this. Or even, frankly, like, a lot of other YouTubers. Roy, thanks for the 10. These hands rated E for everyone. Something I've been thinking about a lot recently. E used to be... Kids to Adults and E were the same rating. Just, they changed the name at some point, right? Because I got, I was looking at, like, old stuff that was labeled that way, and I got mad confused for a bit. Austin Bish, you're streaming so early that you should call these the morning wood streams. Because, like... You know what? That's actually because like I are, I do these puns already, um, but I don't plan on streaming in the morning most of the time. Even though, like I said before, in terms of like like what like the gurus and all those types of people think, and like I believe what the data suggests is that if you want to grow as a streamer, the best time to be streaming is right now, because there's a lot of people looking for stuff to watch, and there's not as many people streaming because streamers tend to not be up at this time. I don't tend to be up at this time, but, and I don't, oh, wait, this is my hit now, right? That's my target, target eliminated. Oh, oh, I got the nice shoddy too. What's this? Oh, it's just a smiley computer screen. Oh, and I got five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollar dues. Um. Oh, what is this? Like a sniper rifle here? Okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot you had like the little. It's like shift to aim. Jesse Patton said, well, I hit your jewel. Thanks for the 14. Um, I... It's a little early start for that. Oh, this is just like a pure tobacco... Pure tobacco, uh... Jewel. You know, sometimes you got a day like that, though. Thanks for the 20, Roy. We are... Hopefully, I... I get my target now. I mean, that is the target... I want to clear the whole thing out, though. We came too far to just, like, bullshit and not kill every single person in this building. I don't like the weird delay that gun has, though. We uh, Does this door take us to an HP Lovecraft book? What's, this looks like something I should have. Oh, yes, it's health. Feels like something is missing, it won't budge. So there's gotta be a secret to that one. 
Wait, but there's a different shotgun that I had here. That was, uh... There we go. That's the one I want. Because this one is just tearing shit up fast. Yeah. That's the stuff. Mmm, tasty. Jesse Pattinson. Thanks for the seven again. 5.30 a.m. Gotta work in five hours. Are you, like, up from last night? Because I, well, like I said before, I got up at 2 a.m. So I'm, my schedule is all kinds of fucking fucked. Alright, so we got through here. You know what? Let me max out my health. Not get too cocky. Now they have money. Alright. Thanks for the five, Jeremy Brewington. Yeah, my streaming, though, it's like, it's all over the, um, my schedule is all over the place. I'm very averse to having any kind of normal schedule. Like, honestly, like, like I said, even, like, I've been turning down every podcast, and I have, like, some cool podcasts that wanted me to do it, but it's kind of like, I just, I'm fo so focused on, like, building my own stuff right now, and I, I just, like, that feeling of, uh, of having a time now where uh, where you're set to like have to do something at a specific time it stresses me out so much even like I, like i knew i had to set up the interview with the cum jar guy because that is like such a fucking so that is like a rare t a rare to me like that's like a rare point where it's kind of like you're not just reporting on like historical internet stuff you're kind of there for it because he hasn't given an interview before to my knowledge he like he just has his youtube channel where he does like knife reviews and shit bada bing thanks for for the uh, 99 cents bada bing um i actually so like yeah i turned out i've been turning down every podcast just so i don't want to have that thing looming over where i have to like be somewhere at a specific time i try to avoid it all if i can and i actually i had someone i forgot who i was talking to recently I honestly, I think it was, like, when I was, I might have been talking to, like, Keemstar or somebody on Clubhouse, and somebody brought up that that's actually a, a symptom of ADD, that, like, if you get that stressed out over, like, having, like, something scheduled, oh, that's a shitty toilet. What, what have I done? No, oh my god. I guess if you when you play this game, do not break the toilets. All right, let me find another vending machine. There's gotta be another vending machine close. Damn, that shitty. That shitty toilet fucked my shit up. They said, fuck your doo-doo ass. I hear footsteps. I don't want to, like... Footsteps. Oh, wait, there's, like, people back here. That's right. Slurm Factory. Uh, Futurama episode. What about that? Oh, that reminds you of that shit, yeah. It's been a while since I watched, like, any Futurama. Oh, oh, that's what I'm hearing, yeah? The, uh, doggies? Dog. There's not a lot of episodes that, like, I remember clearly of, uh, Futurama either, like. Yeah, like. The Death by Snoo Snoo episode, which I, I remember fondly because I, I identify highly with that. Um. The Human Horn episode. That was a good one.
Toilet Raid 2020. Thanks for the 20, Rai. Rai? Toilet. I kind of want to break the other toilet. Because I feel in a way that, um... That might, that might have been some kind of a ruse, and there's more to that toilet. I hear footsteps. I'm not just, you know, quoting Solid Snake here. Or whoever. Oh, oh, this is just like the last person, right? Alright, I know what happened the last time I fucked around here. Let me heal all the way up, and then, then do it. Wait, no. Thanks, Chris Myers. Um, odds of me doing a GG Allen episode. I don't know if I would. Just because I'm pretty sure someone else just recently did like a really good GG Allen video. I think I saw it something like that recently. Thoughts on Junji Ito. Jesse Patterson. Thanks for the seven. Uh, Junji Ito is dope. I, I'm curious what happened to that Uzumaki cartoon. I got it. There was like another target though that I thought. You know what? I think I am just going to exit because the last time I killed that fucking thing, I just got my shit fucking touched. Let's not worry about the bonus objectives. For now. Damn. See how that like it's like it's really fucking up like my uh, like gaming brain disease that I didn't kill all the enemies and civilians. But we'll get this is like I've said this before. Um that like the reason I never finished Yoshi's Island is because there was one stage that I couldn't 100% and I just, I, it bothered me so much that I just, I never progressed past it. Uh, Brandon Roser, thanks for the five. This game is called Cruelty Squad. It's a new game, it's an early access, just came out in January. It's one of- there's a lot of games like this that are- that are kind of in this world of, uh, like, kind of like a retro aesthetic. But this is, like, very- like, there's a few, like- Like, there's- I had played a uh, Post Void that also has, like, a very, like, visually, like, crazy look like this. Although this one, like, people were, like- when I streamed the Post Void, and granted, part of Post Void was that, like, when I was streaming it, it was on my old computer, and it was just, like, not handling it well. Um, but, like, the the visuals of Post Void were literally, like, like, making people in the chat, like, not feel good. This one does, I don't, I don't know about any of you, this one doesn't seem to be having this effect, it's just, like, they're kind of, like, they got the aesthetic. Dark Seed 1 and 2 stream, Jesse. I don't know those. You said, at first I pictured Dark Cloud, but, um... Uh, Chris Myers, you've always been fascinated with that dude since high school. GG, I it might, it might be cool to do. I mean, just because somebody else did a video on something doesn't mean that I can't. Uh, but it depends on how thorough it is. Like, well, let me think of an example. I know it, there's a, a few examples of like Internet Historian or a Down the Rabbit Hole things where it's like they did such a complete job that I wouldn't even bother. Um, can I twerk? Probably. I mean, I got got the ass for it, pizza rolls. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think, um, I mean, there's been a few things that people ask me about that I was just like, that, that like, internet historian handled it so thoroughly that I just wouldn't do it. But then it's like, I, I still, I need to sit down, because like, another one that's like very requested for me to do is Mr. Hands. And that has a whole documentary on it, I haven't watched the documentary. But from what I, I gotta sit and watch it and see if there's like stuff I could talk about that's not like that's outside of the scope of the documentary, which it seems like might be the case. In which case, then I would go and you know do a Mr. Hands video. Bob 
Bye bye, it's you, McMuffin. Roy R. Roy keeps on sending me these like super chats that like are like mysterious. You, like you say McMuffin, and I'm just thinking that that clip from Superbad with the homeless guy is on the bus. And it's like, hey, it's uh, that McMuffin. Um. Oh well, all I can afford right now, I think, is oh no, there's bot. I'm taking the fucking body armor. I get killed so fast in this game. Body armor is the fucking move for me right now, for sure. Oh, and there's like secret things for me to pick up too. Dark Seed is a confusing DOS game about aliens and artwork. Stock market. Maybe I should have. Oh, I have. Oh, I have. I'm invested in the stock market now. Parts. Dark Seed. Dark Seed is a confusing DOS game about aliens, and the artwork is by H.R. Giger. That rules, actually. Alright, so now I have some more weapons, right? The sil I like the silence pistol. And snooze vest. X20. That's that, like, that... Oh, three rapid fire bursts. I think this is that shotgun that I liked. On oh, Oasis of Love and Friendship. Alright, let's start the mission. This game, it's basically like Hitman, but super fucking trippy. Which actually, uh, so I never played any of the Hitman games, believe it or not. Oh, wait. These are like friendlies. Great job out there. I can't believe that was only your first mission. I would have done it myself, but I was simply too busy. Preparing to start my own PMC. Getting too old for this. Ha <laughs> ha this is how I this is how we're all gonna look in the future. I thought I'd go this far. Welcome to the Cruelty Squad headquarters. To the right, you can find the firing range, a newly renovated kill box. Kind of like through here. What you got in here? These offices. Hell yeah, five hundred dollar dudes. Yeah, I'm I'm actually planning on it, um, Tranter the Troll. What I'm unclear on when so the Hitman series, like they kind of relaunched it. Um Charles Khan actually, who's like he's in uh I'm sure I'm sure some of you guys follow Charles on Twitter. His Twitter's like blown out recently, but at some point he gifted me Hitman 2 on Steam and I hadn't gotten around to playing it. Um <laughs> <laughs> the head just like explode as I oh no it just makes a mess. Um, but yeah, Charles got me Hitman too. I haven't played it yet. Uh, but I don't know if I should play Hitman the first Hitman of the cycle first, or yeah, I kind of I'm just like looking around this, but um, Let me get out of here. Paradise. We recently gave the Goo Food and Biocomputing startup G-Tech a significant seed capital of around $5 billion. We've also been helping them by supplying proprietary research data which it turns out they have been selling to our competitors for large sums of money. On top of this, they have not produced any results and have wasted most of their funding on purchasing properties in an elite gated community built on an ancient mass graveyard, which will soon hopefully have a well, mass grave addition of three fresh new bodies. Let's kill these motherfuckers. Do I have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ journey? I don't. I don't. It's time, time to inflict cruelty on the world. Jesus can wait. Well, we gotta cut. That's right. We gotta get all the dollar dues in this, this, this dystopian cyberpunk world. 
first baby injected with the COVID-19. Not the vaccine, just inject. They just like took a baby and shot it full of COVID. Only capable of saying Joe Biden now has scale skin has scales on it. I go for having some skin scales. There, maybe I should have taken this is like a very open stage. Maybe I should have brought that sniper rifle with me. We're in this this Satan house over here. Oh, so like if I like I don't really need to have played the other Hitman games to just jump right in. Because I know Hitman 3 came out recently, and I have to. I feel like, is is the first Hitman good though? Because if it's good, I'll just do them like in order. What is that? Like a little like lizard thing? What is this? Uh oh. What are you? You're dead is what you are. I'll leave the darkness down there. You can get an upgraded version of Hitman 1. It has mission, uh, Hitman 2, it has missions for 1 in it. Okay. Actually, wait, I'm feeling, my throat's feeling kind of dry. I'm going to get some more water. BRB. Oh, so, wait, transfer. So I can play Hitman 1 inside Hitman 2? Is that like, uh... That is the recommended experience? The only, my, like, my only experience with the Hitman games are like the original... Wait, what's happening here? Oh, I'm paused. Um, like the original ones, one of my friends had it and I just kind of watched him play it. It was, I remember it was like inside like this club or something like that. Oh, all right, those are my three targets here. Let's do a, just business today. Oh, oh, not just business. Now I kill you all. Who are you to have security, motherfucker? Well, running away in no specific direction. Yeah, let's do the silence. Very nice. That was no good for my health, though. Oh, my assassination target is down here. Now he's in hell. Put the mic closer to it. Yeah, actually, like, someone said, uh, Supreme Gentleman sil Simulator. And now, like, the visuals of this are almost making me think of, like, there were all these, like, edgy shooters that came out back in the day that, like, every that one would come out independently and then people would get so mad about it. The look of this game, in a way, kind of, like, makes me feel that aesthetic. This is cool. Now that I've kind of gotten, like, a little bit more used to how the game works... I'm feeling it. What's up, Caleb? Alright, so we got another target in, I believe, this house here. Yeah. 
No. And then my friend, you die. Oh, you know what else I noticed? And this has been announced for a while. I just I only saw it recently because I had tweeted about it, and then so and then uh, the uh, the dev got tagged. You guys remember when I played the Dread X Collection too? Um, and there is that like Cthulhu dating sim. Apparently, they're making it now. Um, they're gonna make it a full game with three episodes. So that was one of my favorites from the collection. So I'm stoked to see that get made. Do a video covering Martin Shkreli. Internet's busiest music nerd. Thanks, Jesse. Um, who, I think Wavy Web Surf actually has a pretty comprehensive Martin Shkreli video. He put that out a while ago, though. So, you know, he's got all kinds of uh, updates to the, Sh the Shkreli-verse. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my. Um, about to die. Goodbye, me. Let's retry it with this loadout. The OB, like, that was the game I was thinking of when I said, like, this, like, aesthetically reminds me a little bit of, like, offensive shooter indie shooters that people would get, um, like, super mad about. I... I think, I think the big one that was like super controversial was that game Ethnic Cleansing. Doesn't, uh, what's his name? That guy G-Man, I think has a review of that game. Oh God, how did I miss you? Actually, I, like, I would like to play like some of like the old, uh, the old shooters. Like not just like the, the modern retro stuff, but I never played Blood. Which I think, I think there's a remake of Blood now. But, that, you got that one. Um, I never played the original Postal. Or P.O.'d. Do you remember that game, P.O.'d? I always used to confuse P Postal and P.O.'d too. Brain acquisition, I got a brain? Is this like an item I can use or something? I wonder. It's. I imagine that's like an upgrade or something that I can use. Yeah, so P.O.D. came out. And I thought it was called Poed. Because I had a friend who told me about it. And that's what he said it was called. Poed. A little dumb fucking thing. Oh, you can... S oh, oh, oh. I can sell... Brains on the stock market. Got oh, I see how that works. Thanks. I normally don't like when people like tell me stuff in the game, but it's like this game, like it's kind of like a not a lot explained. So like stuff like that is actually helpful. Fuck you, pizza shop. I want to live in a world where this is how a pizza shop actually looks. That's like an automatic door that comes up from the bottom. I think this is all of them. I eat your body to steal your knowledge. Pizza house, pizza house, pizza house, pizza house. Go grab b blood fresh supply from GOG. You won't regret it. It's like Duke Nukem, but with horror movie tropes instead of action movie tropes. Yeah, that rules. But thanks a lot, though. Yeah, like blood. I remember seeing that in magazines all the time back in the day, and I just I never picked it up. Redneck Rampage is another one. Redneck Rampage, I got with a um a player's disc fr uh, from Game Players Magazine when they gave those away. 
those are pretty cool. Redneck Rampage had a demo. Like those demo discs, like were like the highlight of my month back in the day. And like Redneck Rampage. There was another one that was just like some kind of cowboys. Oh yeah, thanks Luke with that early morning wang. I, I would like. Here's the thing. I would like to be up. I would like to like have this be like my regular stream time, just because like like I said before. The, You know, funny thing, somebody had asked me about that recently, too. I'll ha I don't know anything about that. I'll have to look into it. I also, I need a, uh... Oh, 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 oh my god, I didn't even see... Whoever did that to me, I did not see them. Alright, let's retry that, though. But yeah, early morning wang. I would like to be able to... Here's the thing, though, like... This right here, like I said before, is statistically probably the best time to to stream if you want to grow a streaming audience. But that being said, I like to like I like to be able to like do stuff late at night. Like the the ideal for time for me, like I totally fucked up my sleeping schedule now. But the ideal time that I like to get up is like two is like between like 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. and then like do whatever else I want at night. That's like the ideal like schedule for me. And sometimes I get into it, but it has it's oh my god, dude. That guy tore my ass up. Holy shit. Yeah, like a streaming audience is like a very different thing from a from a video audience. And actually, so like, and I, I've, I kind of went into this in the last stream too. So like the conventional wisdom with YouTube was always that you don't want to mix up your content. You want to have your channel like be like, if you make one type of content, you only want to have that type of content on your channel. In my opinion, that is changing in how YouTube works. So I'm not as scared to like do like a live stream on my main channel. Or, like, put shorts on my main channel. Because then it's just, like, the people who want to watch this stuff will watch it. And then the people who are, like, only interested in Tales from the Internet, they'll wait for the Tales from the Internet videos. Oh. Or the Gaming Mystery videos. The funny thing about Gaming Mystery videos... Every time I've noticed this, the Gaming Mystery videos almost always wind up uh they almost always wind up getting like fewer views than the tales from the internet videos but they'll get a higher percentage of likes from those videos too so like what that tells me is it's like less people are interested in those videos but the people who like them really like them Oh, yeah, I know what it is too. I keep on like going. Going into the houses that I don't gotta go into. Thanks for attacking me of chunklas, Roy. Yeah, there, yeah, there's a lot of people who first oh I'm dead. There's a lot of people who first found me from the Gaming Mysteries videos. Wait, Ruthless86, now we know you're fishy money, so we know who you are. 
How, in what way am I fishing for money? Like, I'm not on here, like, like some people will be like, Oh, so, like, you know, I'm, like, demonetized. So, you gotta, like, uh, pay, pay me up. Like, I'm literally, I'm just fucking streaming on, on YouTube. So, basically, like, anyone who's streaming on fucking YouTube is, like, they're committing, like, a unforgivable sin. A oh, fucking dumbass. Full swing should do a, a duck masterson collab. No, he's like he's no he's like talking about uh thanks full swing by the way. I did like do uh, the podcast like a while ago. Um We know what kind of person you are streaming on YouTube. I mean, here's the thing, too, like, yeah, no shit, I fucking, I do things, I like to make money when I fucking do things. Anyone who, like, tries to, like, put on this show about how much they, like, they're not interested in money, blah, 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 don't trust people like that. Because those are the people who are looking to, like, scam you with something. I'm not out here, like, fucking... Fu I'm not out here, like, saying, like, oh, I'm broke, please, like... Please, uh, support my GoFundMe. Yeah, the retreating, like, um, uh, Gorilla Derp. The, uh, the, uh, the Twitter thing is a fucking ride. Oh, wait, what, some, does that mean some- Oh, I see, someone sees me. That shouldn't- uh, The enemy sees me. So it's that. Oh, oh, I, it's a. Uh, I avoided the fucking fart gas this time. All right, ruthless. And yo, here's yo, here's a tip. Then, if you don't like it, don't fucking watch it. Continue to like live your life with the mindset of a fucking, an easily conned by these phony fucking like vows of like a fucking poverty that content creators like to to trick you with continue living life with like a fucking broke idiot mindset thanks roy yeah you just keep on like dropping it in roy thanks praise the sun yeah like if you like but oh my fucking cunt like please like nobody nobody spend a dime if they don't feel like spending a fucking dime like all it is all it gets you is your words on the screen i could put meat on the grill Okay. Favorite metal subgenre? I don't know, dude. I'm all over the place. Like, lately, I've been on some shit where I'll, like, I'll, I like to go for, like, long-ass walks and fucking listen to Spotify. But, like, lately, and, like, normally, like, the daily mixes and shit, they're... They're like the algorithm is really good at matching you up with music that you want to listen to, but lately, like, I just can't find anything I feel like listening to. And I'll just wind up like walking in silence, like a fuck. Not, I mean, not like a weirdo. That's how, like, you know, how it used to be normal back in the day before, before the Walkmans broke our brain. Thanks, Ecstasy. Oh, oh my, this guy keeps on fucking. Ecstasy of thinking, thanks. People saying shit like that is just dumb. Like, 
they would have said no to the money you make while streaming a bullshit. Yeah. Like, if people want to give you money for something, like, you don't say no. You never say no. Oh, that's one of those fart zombies that lets out a fart cloud. Stay far away from them. That's my fucking target right there. Yeah, you know, like the time, like call people out on that shit when they're like, "Oh my god, I uh." You know, when, they do, when they're clearly making money, but they do the whole sob story about how broke they are, that's what you gotta be, like, uh, fucking wary of. And a lot of people do that in this world. Do I like typo negative? You know, I used to fucking hate typo negative. And thank you, full swing. I used to fucking hate typo negative when I was younger, but I was wondering if there was fall damage. I, um, more recently... Oh, I could put meat on this grill, you said, alright? Oh, I got a liver. Um, uh, more recently... More recently, I got really into them. I've actually... I was listening to them for a decent amount of time recently. But now they're kind of, like, not scratching the itch either. Easton, thanks for sending me a yo. Icky Vicky, how dare you stream this odd but fun game? Be entertaining. Thank you, Vicky. Oh, yeah. Oh, I... Oh, okay. It cooks it, and I get more health from it. That is... But if you miss the grill, it's on the floor forever. What am, what's happening here? The grill is just rejecting them now. Oh, he, the, the head got cooked though. We ate the fucking head. Was I a fan of the Crippler? I'm assuming you mean Chris Benoit. Yeah, dude. Fucking, even like back in the WCW days, Chris Benoit was just one of the best. It's a shame that he's just like all this shit happening now. He's just like been become like a a non person that we have. That is this a friend? Oh, that's not a friendly dog. We we just ate dog. A dog whose torso is indistinguishable from a human who we also ate. Thanks, Roy. Um... Yeah, like, fucking... The interesting thing about death metal drums... A lot of, like, the crazier techniques are, like, also, like, jazz techniques. So you'll wind up, like, with this, like, crossover. It's, like, like uh, particularly, like, Gravity Blast. I remember for a while, like, everyone I knew who played drums. Like, that was, like... In the way that when I was coming up playing guitar... And everyone was like, oh, dude, bro, you gotta, like, sweep pick and shit. Like, for drummers, that was, like, a gravity blast fucking deal. Or rather, it was, um... Like, everyone's gotta get their gravity blast going. Which, like, you don't know gravity blast. It's kind of, like... From, from a non-drummer kind of thing. It's, uh... You kind of hold the stick at the rim of the drum. And you just kind of, like... You kind of, like, use the, uh... Use it, like, kind of, like, um... Like a balance to get, like, a super fast blast beat. Oh my... Super fast blast beat. Um... I didn't know where I was going with that. But yeah, like, the gravity blast thing, like, everyone was, like, kind of, like, wanking over their, their super fast gravity blasts back in the day. I'm sure they still do now. I'm just kind of like not super. Oh, get away from me, fart zombie! I'm not like I don't really like pay much attention to uh 
musician discourse nowadays. I can't deal with like the guitar message board types of people and shit. I've been spotted. Oh my god. Yeah, the textures are like a lot like um, LSD meme emulator. Well, LSD meme, that was a fucking like a Facebook page. I don't know if they're still around. LSD Dream Emulator, though, is the game with visuals that look like it. All right, all right. I'm gonna go. This time, I'm just going for the targets. Not worrying about grilling dogs and shit. Oh, right, you can peek corners here, right? Run out so you could die by my hands, please. What do I want to see for the dark side of the ring? Ah, oh, shit. Like, for the next season, I can't, like, I'm trying to think of, like, what they haven't even covered yet. Like, they already did Bruiser Brody, right? Because that's a good one. Um... There we go. I eat your flesh. Problems with the live stream being blurry. I hope not. I have it set... Like, it's, it's, I have it set to, like, a relatively high bitrate, so it shouldn't be blurry. I don't know, like, is anyone else having a problem with, uh, with the screen being blurry? Oh, shit, actually. So, oh, okay, it's, yeah, so it might just be, like, a, uh, an internet connection thing. I think I talked about it in the last stream, I don't remember, so I'm just gonna talk about it again. Um, so I got this friend Casanova Valentine. He's a deathmatch wrestler. He, what he used to do, he kind of started this shit where he would have, he would like book these shows at bars and it would be like, like a, de like deathmatch wrestling at a bar with like bands and stand up and shit. It was real cool before the uh you know pandemic shut everything the fuck down but then a while ago he was like talking to me about a, a tv show he was trying to put together he kind of he described it kind of like um like old school ecw meets old school ecw meets um lucha underground where it has like that kind of a narrative structure to it but it's like edgy deathmatch shit Few, like, he talked to me about this a while ago, and then he wound up getting a deal with Fight TV. Uh, so, like, that's... We, we shot... I wound up, like, he asked me to do, like, a cameo, so I did, like, some, like, backstage interview type stuff for it. I think that's gonna be out. Uh, like, the, the show is called New Fear City. It's on Fight TV. It should be out in a couple weeks. Like, he doesn't have an exact date for it, I don't think, but they announced the show already and stuff like that.
They're trying to make it legal to cook meth. I don't know what you could talk to these people. Trying to make it legal to cook meth. Don't get me wrong. I'm into freedom, but that's a step too far. I disagree. My camera isn't as crisp as normal, but it's not bad. Or... See, like, that's the weird thing I've noticed with the YouTube streams. Because right now I'm streaming at a significantly higher bit rate than I would have streamed to on, on Twitch. But I've noticed that in the VODs, too. Where you'll, uh, the, the game will be crisp, but then the camera will be all, like, weird looking. But that didn't happen on Twitch. I don't know what the deal with that is. Yeah, you will die. And my friend, you die. Oh, yeah, that was a fart zombie. Wait, am I looking at the wrong direction for something? Because I see, that, like, the one target was up there, but I thought there was another target here. Yeah, the border is from the game. Morning, Dirtiest Tiger. You know what it is like what's re what's like reminiscent of those like old uh shooter games like the old like edgy like indie ones is like the way the people kind of like run around in panic like that is very much of that era I mean you know aside from like the visual aesthetic Oh, speaking of, like, the old-school, like, ECW shit, though, I saw, like, I don't know if you guys, like, follow New Jack on Twitter, but he just said he's, like, medically cleared to wrestle again, so. That's, like, something to look forward to. He's, like, talking about he wants to do a cage match with somebody. Honestly, dude, like, I, like and I had told that to, like, um, to a cast, the guy I was, like, talking about with the wrestling show. Oh, oh, wait, this is, like, one of those toilets that, like, Oh my god. Yeah. But, like, that would be like. Like, when they had those, like, Deathmatch bar shows. Like, that would be, like, the dream fucking thing to see. Like, either. Oh, 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 oh. Two targets down. Like, fucking New Jack. See, to see New Jack pull up one of those things, that would be fucking nuts. Oh, I thought that was a thing I could eat, but I can't eat it. Roy Austin still doesn't have. Oh wait, are these all pop figures? These are all pop figures. I killed. I killed this man in his pop fortress. Austin still doesn't have water. This is like, did the one you sent before, Roy? Thank you, Roy. I think the one you sent before, I th sent the second time. Wait, what's happening? Is it like? freaking out again or was like a was that what's happening here what was that yeah the old super chats are going through again it's got to be streamlads fucking up Yeah, like the camera quality, Iceman, is it like, 
is the camera quality like compared to the gameplay thing like is it like does it have like that weird like fucking like loading grain because when i uh when i would like go to the vod's actually yeah these are the stream chat these are the stream labs from before i don't know what's happening here it's gotta be it's, this has just gotta be a problem on Streamlabs' end. Um Okay, yeah, we got more armed guards. Yeah, I have I have, like, the thing on the mini feed, though, that, like, kind of sets things aside, so like, I won't get the new ones mixed up with the old ones. That's so weird that that's happening, though. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, like, it looks like scramble. Yeah, so, like, something I noticed, too, when you have the VODs on YouTube, so, if you, no, like, normally inside your YouTube studio thing, you... Like, normally, like, there's a thing that lets you download an old video. So, when you download an old video through the thing, like an old uh, live VOD directly from YouTube in that way, it, like, it comes, like, really shitty quality. But then what happens is, if, like, if you use, like, video download or whatever that plugin is called, like, that's what I was using. Because, like, for some reason, also, like, it won't show up on, like, a site normally. Alright, got them all. Time to get the fuck out of here. Um, yeah, like, normally, it'll, uh... Damn, I just got mad confused for a second. Yeah, normally, so, like, if you download the VOD directly from your YouTube studio, when it's from a live VOD, I've noticed, the quality is real shit. And if you try to use, like, you know, video, like, one of those video downloader sites, it doesn't come up normally. But then... I'll, I'll worry... I'll, now that I killed the targets, I'm gonna worry about the extras later. Um, but I have, uh, what is it, like, video download helper or some shit? I had it on an old computer, but I got it, um, again, for the sake of getting, like, the actual high-quality VOD. I don't know what's up with that. Because I have someone editing an hour, the last stream I did, the Dead by Daylight one. But for me to actually get the good quality VOD to her... I had to, like, do all this, like, shit, because, like, YouTube wouldn't let me download, like, the highest quality one, even though it existed on the server. Chris Soup, the stream I watched last night, he went into Streamlabs, looked for a sec, and said, oh, that's it. Click something when it was fixed. So this is just happening to, like, a bunch of people, right? I'm gonna, t I'm gonna look at Streamlabs for a second and see what's going on here. Because it... Oh, see, this is a new one. Duh, it's Roasted Cookies. So it wants to give you Rita thousands of dear gods to listen to. I'm assuming that's music. Thank you for the two. Um, What kind of music is that? What's up, Trashy Bass? I'm going to look in the Streamlabs and see, like... What could possibly be causing the old alerts to be read? I mean, I think there's a button that just, like, kills all the alerts that are coming in. But I don't know, like, what's happening here. Show tutorial. Wow. 
I'm using um I'm using Streamlabs OBS. And the alerts are it's a, a YouTube It's an alert. Oh no, it is a browser setting that I'm using for the alerts to come up. Actually, I think just do what I did just now, just like making it visible and then not visible fixed it. But it seems like the kind of thing that's a temporary fix. So we'll see. It, it stopped, though. Alright, next mission. We got 2,000 for this. What kind of upgrades will I spend it on? Wait, has it come to our attention that the CEO of Advanced Orbital Instruments has been doing too good of a job trying to increase the survival rate of our mission to Mercury? Currently estimated. Alright. Upgrades. This, this is, you know what, it's more stable in Cyberpunk 2077. But when I got the body armor here, I got. Can I put something on my skull? Speed enhancer. Can't afford that. I got the basic speed enhancer though. Makes me harder to spot. Extra magazine for both weapons. Grenades. Hmm. My weapons automatically regenerate ammunition, but you can no longer reload manually. That might be good. Augmented arms throw things with more force. Due to increasing security measures, some companies started manufacturing intentionally ricocheting bullets for otherwise impossible shots. Use extreme care when firing directly towards a target. That might be helpful in some situations. I think I'm gonna do the reload one. Oh no, that's not not I can't afford that one yet. Speed let's just do the speed enhancer. Nightmare vision goggles give off putrid stench, no effect on anything. Improved. Oh, yeah, let me get some better aim, too. I'll keep the loadout I have now. You can get a second set of intestines installed as a climbing rope. Shit, like, actually, this reminds me a lot of this one game that I played, um, the second to last stream, the one where I was doing a bunch of indie games. I think it was another one where you're just, you're eating stuff, but you don't know what the, the effects are randomized. I forgot what game that is now. So there's my target up there. Oh, I didn't equip my uh my thing. Oh fuck. Yeah, I just fucked myself there. The Rita, Thousands of Dead Gods, is a Harsh Noise Wall album. Available to purchase a Bandcamp for six, count them, six dollars. I do, do like some thrash metal for sure. Oh no, I thought, oh wait, Harsh Noise, I, I read, I read Harsh Noise and thought thrash in my brain. But thank you, uh, Rostida. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take the L on this stage and equip my stuff. There we go. I also feel like I'm going to want the sniper rifle for this stage. Instead of the shotgun. Wait, do I not have it anymore? I thought I had it. I had a sniper rifle before, but it doesn't appear to me in my, be in my loadout. Oh no, this is the thing I wanted, yeah. What if I just walk up to- the, oh. Could I just- oh, I guess not. I was gonna see if I could like break his neck or something. I wonder, like, if, if I get the musical app upgrade, because there's, like, a cassette player, I wonder if it gives you a different soundtrack, or if it's just, like, you can play different songs from the game. I'll check it out in the next one. Oh, okay. Not bad. Alright, I like this gun. The fishing- oh, that's right, I saw, like, in the patch notes, they added fishing in this game. Cause that's like, if there's one thing this game needs, it's fucking fishing. Wait, the fishing rod is over here, though, somewhere? Yeah, it w well, it was like a Silent Hill-type dog with a, a fucked up head. No, you may not swim. Fishing rod is on the island. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, it's time to go fishing in this dystopian cyberpunk world. Are you friendly? What's that? You want to get into fishing. Do you seriously have what it takes, or do you just do whatever is trendy? When I started fishing, everyone made fun of me. Now they have the audacity to ask me for tips. Fuck them. Well, you actually swam all the way here, so maybe you're different. Feel free to grab my old rod. I just ordered a new one from Fishing Fun. Feel free to... Can I kill you? <laughs> I can't. Oh, well, where is... Now we killed you. Where's your fishing... Oh, there it is. Yeah, the voices are so much like... They're a lot like... They're... You know what they remind me of? The fucking... Okay, this guy... From Earthbound. Which I used to think was... Okay, Scott. And I'm like, who the fuck is Scott? Thanks, Cryptopsy. I should have two new videos out this week. One of them being the broken arm story, and another one of them being an interview with the... <gasps> I'm hiccuping again. Interview with the My Little Pony Gumjar guy. Fish Fred is now dead for Abba.
I'm not sure what I do with the rod though. Oh, Diaz, do you not, do you not know about that? That was one of the, one of the first episodes of of my series, and then the guy who was behind it all, guy who's behind it all, uh, sent me an email, and and we were like we are actually talking about doing an interview for like a year or so, but we only finally just got around to it. I can't seem to like I don't think there's any fish around, so I'm just gonna go shooting people. Hold left click and release the I did cast into water, but there's like nothing to catch. Nothing I could see at least. Missed, thanks to the god of Pez. Missed saying, get fucked. At the, oh, you just gotta wait and then something turns up. Alright, I'll try it. Um, yeah, I stopped saying that at the end of the video. Just so I, I thought it was, like, kind of cringe. It, like, when I did, like, those old, like, more, like, ranty style videos, it made sense. But when it was, like, Tales from the Internet, it didn't really make a lot of sense. And then it was just, like, it was just kind of, like, some kind of, like, cat cringy catchphrase. And, like, oh, this is kind of, like... I feel Herbie saying it now. This game is Cruelty Squad. It's basically like a really trippy Hitman type game where I got targets. That target right there, that's who I got to assassinate, but right now I'm fishing. So I like the fish. Oh, here we go. Okay, I got a fish. A nice big bulbous fish. Oh, $128 fish. What's a what was that called? A blurpus? Zooper. Zooper's not as good as the blurpus. Yeah, this game is dope. It like it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I like it. I'm done fishing for now, though, I think. Oh. That's all fishing for now. Now it's shooting time. That disgusting blob in the corner is my life. I don't mean that in a... In a depressionary kind of way. I mean that is like that is like literally my health. The Nickelodeon gack is my health. Yo, seriously, YouTube needs to get on that clipping feature already. It's time. I'm really curious, because YouTube has said a while ago that they're going to implement clipping. I don't know how they would manage to do that with that, like, will it go on your channel? Like, where will the clips live? I don't want people, like, blowing up my notifications or, like, my viewers' notifications with clips. 
but then I want people to be able to find them too. And I want it to be like, like one good thing that you that Twitch does do is that they have the the uh, the clips are like a good, even though you know nothing is good for discovery on Twitch inside of Twitch, but like the clips are like one of the more effective things. Yes, I've acquired you, Brain. What's up? I don't have a name. You know what? I should have paired this up with a shotgun. That was weird. Or maybe not, because this kind of is as effective as the shotgun, I think. That guy looked special, but I just killed him. And now, while you watch this all and, like, the look of this, keep in mind, this is still, like, this is all in, like, a dock now. Oh, damn, out. Damn, that person just turned into fucking dust. This, that's the gun. Holy shit. Oh, 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 where are you? I hear a lot of footsteps, but I don't see people. Yeah, this game is fun. It's it, absurd, but it's fun. Just standing in the middle of everything with people getting gunned down. Game similar to this, but it's a biopunk RPG. That sounds cool. Like, I fuck with this. For a while, pixel art was the trend, and now this like retro style 3D is the trend, and I'm really into it. Poor, there's just like mad Oregonians in here right now. Is that what's happening? I like Oregon. I haven't been there in so long. Like the last, every time I ever played a show in the like the Pacific Northwest of my old bands, they were such good shows. Like this, I don't know how it is now, but the scene out there before was mad good. That was like one of the parts of the country that I always look forward to playing. It would be like, those shows are always good. Kentucky and Alabama were always good shows. Oh, where's that target now? 
Oh, he's upstairs. I'm definitely going to get shot as soon as I poke my head up here. I can feel it. Let me eat some more flesh before I go up. I'm doing pretty good. I like... If, if you're just joining me... I think you're just joining me. Um, I woke up at 2 in the morning. It's now 9... Oh, oh, what the... People are just falling out of the sky now. Can I do something with this? I feel like I can... No, I guess I can't. I can feel it. That's just like a death trap up there. Oh, I only got 10 bullets, too. Let me grab some bullets. Surely someone has bullets for me. Yeah, you kind of you eat their bodies to gain health. But you could also eat, like, potato chips from the vending machine. This just, you know. Because this one I'm finding is what they're dropping. Yeah, my schedule is going to be all fucked up now. Because I woke up at 2 in the morning. So I had to stream. I'm probably going to, like, uh. See, like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's cool to be up at this kind of time to stream. But the downside is then it's like I'm going to get tired at, like, 4 in the afternoon or something. I don't want to be living like that. Oh, that's like the farting lady. Oh, I fucked myself. Damn. Damn. Fall damage, fuck me. Damn, that's a sturdy fence. You know what? I'm actually gonna leave and change to the change the silence pistol to the shotgun. Better telly. Hypernova. Let's try it again. I can see the comments, Ethy Bubs. Show yourselves. There's another one. The little, like, synth that comes in here, too, it reminds me of one of the Zombies Ate My Neighbor songs. Like, just that, like, eh, the pad. Which reminds me, I had seen... I don't know if you guys saw, like, the, the Demons Ate My Neighbor shit. The Kickstarter wound up, like, not finishing, but I think they're gonna try again. To be like a spiritual successor to Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. That's like something we definitely need. Although I say that without having actually uh, ever finished Ghoul Patrol. Alright, it's fishing time, guys. Right, you hear it. That pet sounds so much like Zombies Ain't My Neighbors.
You know what game? Actually, I, like, I should stream this at some point, too. But... What game I would like to see get, like, one of those... Because like, that seems to be a thing, too. The, like, the spiritual successors made by fans. I would love to see that done with Haunting starring Polterguy. Oh, yeah. He really is dead forever now. Goodbye, Fish Fred. Sup, noobup. I don't want to fish, though. I want to kill. Yeah, Haunting starring Pulse Guy. Actually, I remember, so one time I went on tour, very early on in the channel, and I had start, I recorded a four-episode series of Zombies Ate- Not Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Haunting starring Pulse Guy, one for each house. When I, back when I did, like, Let's Play videos and shit. Oh god, yeah, I gotta- Can't jump high enough to get through this way. Yeah, if I, I imagine I could like kind of like, just like grind for money with the fishing. Well, it gets to the action here. Although a lot of those upgrades seem pretty good. Oh, right, demons ate my neighbors is coming, huh? Yeah, I saw like I'd even. And this happened a few times. It seems like every time I, I contribute a significant amount of money to a... or well, pledge a significant amount of money to a Kickstarter, it winds up not meeting its goal. It's like... like the, uh... I, I curse them with my money. But I would like to see that get made. Haunting starring Poltergeist, though. I would love to see, like, a new shot at that. I'm surprised, actually. I can't think of any other game that's quite like that. Haunting starring Poltergeist. Where well, if you've never played that game, basically... The way that game works is you, you're a ghost that was killed by a faulty skateboard. Wait, what? What's happening here? I miss you saying fuck. Did it go through a second time? The God of Pez. Thank you for putting it through the second time that you missed me saying get fucked. Uh, yeah, like I said though, I hate, like, it felt like too catchphrasy and I'm not a fan of that. So I stopped doing it. I also, like, didn't make sense with the kind of videos I was doing anymore. But, yeah, Haunting Starring Poltergeist, you get killed by a faulty skateboard that your, your crooked uncle designed. So now you're out to haunt his family, so they, they leave their mansions. And there's all, like, different ways you can haunt. Like, some things, like, you just kind of possess it and they check it out, and there's, like, some crazy shit inside of it. Some of them, it'll be, like, a thing you can control. Like, some, like there's some parts where you'll take over a ceiling fan and fly it at them. Like, that kind of stuff. They open up the refrigerator and then their own head is inside their refrigerator or their family member's head is chopped off inside their refrigerator and scares them. And eventually you gotta scare them so much that they leave the house. Only four stages of it. And it's like, whenever I bring that game up too, like, people remember that game. It's well, it's by Electronic Arts. It's a well, it's a well remembered liked game. But nobody that, to my knowledge, has ever really taken it to, uh, to try and make something like it. Alright, somebody sees me, but I don't see them. Oh, I see you up there. What's Geist? Is Geist like haunting?
Hmm, I might be able to, uh, oh, there's a brain. I... I might be able to, like, kind of, like, snipe some of those guys that are lurking up there. Oh, FPS possession game. That sounds like the kind of thing that if, if it's done right, you might have, like, different kinds of, like, uh, like a very uh, versatile type of gameplay. If the different things you take over have different vibes. Footsteps. Uh-oh. One, two. Uh, 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 oh god, I went the wrong way. Don't shoot me. I'm not ready. Good thing this guy was like high stepping. Like a football player. I've been seen. There's somebody down. Oh, the dog sees me. The AVGN Immortal chapter. You mean like Immortal is in the game Immortal? That was actually- that was a game I meant to, like, go back to a while. The, uh, NES game Immortal, or was- that was a Genesis game, right? There's a few, um, old games like that that I want to go back to. There's also Solstice. I've used the Solstice soundtrack a few times in my videos, but I never... There's like a little like a crevice here, huh? Oh god, I'm not reloaded. Oh god! Oh, these are like zombie guys or some shit? What's happening here? Oof, it's a close call. Low on ammo. Alright, I gotta go eat some dead bodies or I'm screwed. Maybe I'll just do what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Thanks, Sabrina. I should be streaming for a while. I'm kind of like into this game right now. And also I should be having a video for you up. Two videos this week. They're both almost done. Did he run away with the ball? Oh, I thought he ran away. Snow running away from 
imminent death and getting your body eaten for my health. Is it, there's like a full-on like Oregon geography conversation going on in there. Or, or excuse me, Oregon. I said Oregon. I know that's a big no-no. It's not an Oregon, like a Porygon. I feel like there's gotta be more to this building here. This isn't all just all here for no reason. There's no way. Right, this might just be here for like the better vantage point. This is just the area I came from. Anybody? I would really rather not just like poke my head up back in the hatch again and get fucked. No, yeah, like, I'm angurious. I'm, I'm pretty into this. Oh, somebody saw me, though. Oh, the people down there. I'm gonna have to kill all these motherfuckers and eat them for health. Although... Okay, low on ammo. Oh, I didn't even look in here yet. Secret. Wait, what have I... Um, Ender Zero, thanks for the five. This game is Cruelty Squad. It's basically like Hitman, but trips the fuck out. A medieval. I haven't played that. A medieval. That's um, that's kind of like the game before dusk, right? Like it's like dusk, like the spiritual predecessor. I think I might actually have dusk. I mean, I think I might actually have a medieval. I just haven't played it because I played dusk a while ago. You do not see me, guy. Come on. Running back and forth as one does. When, well, this is this is how you panic, ladies and gentlemen. That's like if you ever watched my video on Wizard of Gore, and there's that scene when they find the dead body inside the diner. 
or inside the bar or whatever it was and then there's the body like laying on the floor dead and this same person goes in one direction jumps over the body goes in the other direction jumps over the body that's what that is like all right i feel like i'm gonna drop down here and get my ass shot up yeah somebody sees me somewhere And there he is, the guy that saw me. But now he's dead. And everybody gets eaten. Dude, I wanna... Like, those are some sick-ass computer cases. Some old pizza. Eating up all their snacks. Potato chips. Bodies. You shot the potato chips out of me. <laughs> we love the big rotating hole, don't we folks? I feel like I should be able to do more with the orb. There's probably something to it that I'm missing. Oh, you're still alive. That We cannot stand for that. Kind of left those behind for some reason. Alright. Now it's uh, the moment of a... Uh, the moment of truth. To go back up into there and try not to die sticking our heads up like whack-a-moles. Oh, actually, wait. There's people in here to eat. Person in there to eat. Come on, man. Fuck. I feel like there's got to be, like, a better pathway to approach that, but... It doesn't seem to be. Oh, and the full damage got me. Damn it, man. Cannibalism, like, only seems to be he unless I'm doing something wrong with it. The cannibalism only gives me one HP each time I eat one. Oh, 
All right. Now I'm just going to run through. See how fast I can just like go through here. Come on, show yourself, gun man. Who doesn't hear the shotgun going past his head, which is good for me. Fuck this being careful shit. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing the cannibalism right. So apparently, uh... Only getting one HP per. Somebody sees me though. Where's the person that sees me? Something that might be good for a stream eventually is that fucking game. Uh, it, it's probably be assuring. It's just like a dumb, like a quick, stupid game. Is uh, that my roommate Sonic shit? I was originally gonna do a video about it because like there was like the whole story about how my roommate Sonic. Which, if you've never seen that, it's that weird game where it's a, a Dreamcast game that. Let's see up here. Oh, there he is. That game where like you're on the you're on the couch with Sonic and you're trying to take his shoe off. The Sonic Dreams Collection. That's it. Um. There was like a whole story about how they were found on an abandoned Dreamcast. No, it's a funny story. Uh, well, you know, it's just fabricated for the sake of the lore. Wow. Show yourself, demon. I got sent here on a mission to kill the CEO. I got scared, so now I've been hiding out in the server room for two weeks. I've been subsisting on hamburger leftovers left here by the server guy. Maybe I can finally leave now that you're here. I was, when I saw that guy before, I was like, this guy like looks special. Where's the hamburger leftovers, though? Oh, I see. He's probably talking about all the food that's left around in there. Or maybe not. I'll go back up there, though, and uh, do that thing where I was picking them off from the vents again. What sucks is when you kill them like that, they just explode too fast for you to actually like, get anything from the body parts. that other way around that I had. This game based on a... Tr it is. Story, true story just happened. Let me 
things here. This is like, it's like an actual dock. You can visit this dock. It's, it's just the way it appears in the game. This is what I was looking for up here. Now go on. One. There's more of you is in here. Oh god. Uh excuse me. Sir, you should be die. Yo, not for nothing though, it would be so sick if this is just like how like real places looked. With these kinds of obnoxiously colored floors and blood walls. What do you have a funky beat going on? Oh, I, I don't have ammo for that. See, like, you can peek around walls here, but it kind of, like, you peek out so little, it doesn't seem to help very much. This is Cruelty Squad. When it is like basically just like tripped out Hitman. I have a target that I gotta hit. He's all the way up there though. Protected by tons of guards. That every time I poke my head up, they're like, they just get my ass. And these these are cute puppies. That's who that is. <gasps> bing bong, bing bong. See, and like some of those guys have like the zombie skin color, but they don't let out the gas when they die. I thought everyone with that skin color like exploded into gas that kills you. Thankfully not. Although I think that one that's at the top of the stairs does.
See, now, it's, like, for those just joined, there's, like, a part after this that's, like, really fucking me up. Or so you clear out the office, but then you gotta go up these stairs, and the stairs just kind of, like, funnel you to them. That's how people run when they're in a panic. So we cannibalize all the office workers and eat their snacks. And then go up those stairs once again and try not to get fucked up. It's not Puppet Combo, it's um... It's, it's, I forgot the name of the company that makes it, it's like Consumer or something or other. I do have like another Puppet Combo game though that I haven't played. Um, Murder House. I stream that one another time though. I was, I wasn't sure how long this game was gonna be, but it's like there's like this is like the third stage, and I think there's 13 stages, and like they're replayable. There's stuff to find in each of them. This is like a secret. This actually, it kind of looks like this crazy nightmare I had when I was a kid. I... Actually, it kind of baffled me where, like, some of the imagery in the dream came from. It was like a... I was like, like the ground was like this. And then it was just like a floating... Spinning Freddy Krueger head. And I think I realized, I imagined that Freddy Krueger head because I had that, um... There's that Freddy Krueger squirt toy. Where it was just like a head and they squeeze it and water comes out. I had one of those when I was a kid. And I think that's like kind of like where the image of a floating Freddy Krueger head got in my brain. Alright, I think... We're done with this area here. It's just this fucking staircase that I just get owned every time I go that staircase. Oh, we got these other rooms here, too. The vents. The snacks. See, it's like that one, because I know, like, those are the units that, when that you kill them, they blow up into a green gas that takes a ton of health away from you. Oh, I'm low on ammo, too. Alright, there's gotta be some ammo down there, though. Where are guards that I shot? Thirty.
This should be enough. Like, if, if I can kill that one, like, exploding enemy, I should be alright up there. Like, what's happened every time is that, like, I'll, I'll get fucked, like, trying to get away from the exploding enemy. And then I'll fall, I'll, like, fall down the whole thing and take, uh... There she is. Alright, cool. Oh, there's another one! Cool. Alright, I think that's enough, then. Could it be this simple? Target completed. Let's get the fuck out of this demonic. Not past, like, fucking demonic uh, school colors. I don't know, I just call it school colors. I think I don't I think it's just like a school I went to at some point in my life had those colors. And I got the blue and yellow school colors in my fucking head. Oh, he has a good gun? I didn't grab it. Let me go back and get that shit. Ah. <sighs> I feel like, though, everything would be better if life, if real life had this color palette. It would make me, like, imagine, like, you go to, like, the doctor's office and it looked like this. That would make me excited to go to the doctor's office that I can just look at this crazy circus of walls. Wait, where even? Oh, there it is. Oh! Okay. Very nice. I like. Can I like slide down here and not take fall damage? I can. Alright, great. Imagine if I died from that fall damage. Holy shit, dude. That PC would have went flying. Three thousand. I probably did do bar without even realizing it. Oh yeah, because I went the very nice. Alright, what else can we get here? Node enhancer speed. Total organ package. Life sensor. You know, I want to get the uh the where is the audio tape thing? Equip that. Augmented arms throw things with more force. I haven't really been throwing things. But I feel like maybe throwing things comes into play more later in the game. I don't want the smelly goggles that do nothing. Like, this is the song right here. It reminds me so much of Haunting Star and Boulder Guy. Camouflage makes me hard to spot. I'm imagining I can't stack them, it's probably just one or the other, right? Yeah, damn. Oh, I should have spent the money on the first aid kit.
And actually, the grenade a grenade would have been helpful for that staircase situation. Oh, but it comes at the expense of uh, the arm thing that I had. Aimed, whatever the fuck. All right. Oh, it's it's cassette player or grenade. I guess we'll go with the grenade. Actually, I'm going to take a leak real fast. I'll be back. I was thinking about who, like, this guy over here, the, um, the, uh, the chief of police here, who he reminds me of. You know who this guy reminds me of? Did any of you guys use Nesticle back in the day? The NES emulator? There is, like, this, let me see if I can find it. They had, like, this mascot for Nesticle, which was, like, that was, like, a lot of people, people got their start on, uh, oh, there, perfect. The Battle to the Fecal Lord. You would start up your nesticle. And here, I'll show you this guy. He reminds me so much of him. Um, nesticle guy. And an uh, image. Or actually, wait. Can, can I just like pull it on here? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. There you go, yeah. Dude, like, tell me that guy is, like, not super similar to the Fecal Lord. But this was a, uh... Nesticle, man. If you don't remember Nesticle. Nesticle was, like, the emulator that so many people, like, got their start on. Actually, what was cool about Nesticle... Actually, so, when I was doing, um... The, uh, the Freddy Krueger the update video about the thing where it's like when i was explaining how like on an nes thing the uh the tiles kind of repeat a certain way so nesticle before there was like everyone who was doing rom hacks on an nes they're using like tile layer nesticle like had its own like tile thing like built inside so you could open it up and like change the game on the fly and so that was just like that there were a lot of emulators that came out that had like better capacity. That they like they could like, they were updated for like more complicated games. Like I remember Ninja Gaiden Three, for a while it was like it was not emulated perfectly for a long time. Uh, same thing with um. Actually, oh I see. So like I can kind of like when things these things are up and down. I kind of like. 
like buy them. So then when I'm in the game, it'll be like an investment here. And then I could sell them and have more, right? Fish. Wait, what if I just sell my fish then? I don't even know what I'm doing right down here. I I just I just fucked around in the stock market somehow. I don't know exactly what the fuck I did. Right, so I sold ten of them. I'm like, I'm doing this like worried about like my day trade things. Yeah, you know what? Let me just sell these. Don't have stocks. Sell my uh, my my fish, my zoop, my blurp. The blurp was the one that was worth a lot. And now, I still don't have enough to buy what I was going to buy. So let's go to the next mission. Um, yeah, Nesticle. I remember Ninja Gaiden 3 was, it took, like, Nesticle, I don't think Nesticle ever got Ninja Gaiden 3 support. Um, or, like, what it needed to do to be able to properly play Ninja Gaiden 3. But then a bunch of, like, more. It, it, it was kind of like a bummer, because, like, Nesticle had such a cool interface that was just like a pleasure to use aesthetically. But then eventually like the more bare bones ones do like it could emulate games that Nesticle couldn't. I think Castlevania 3 was another one. It's all like the, the three games. Okay. Oh, well, I'm, oh okay water so it's not the full damage. I, I said that mad Polish something. It's not the full damage. The late stage NES games. Yeah, it was like Nesticle could do a lot of things well, but not the later NES games. I really, I, fuck, I don't even, I, I fucking, on my old Packard Bell, my shitty old Packard Bell computer, I had some really bad ROM hacks that I put together. I don't know if I ever upload them online. I don't, I might have, but I don't think they ever got around really, but... Man, I would love to see, like, those old ROM hacks that I made that weren't any good. But they were there. They had, um... I made, I had one where I had I turned Super Mario into a bus. And he was just, like... I didn't know how to make it so, like, he could always have, like, uh, contact damage. So, like, it would, it would be a bus that shoots fireballs. And then the Koopa Troopas turn into hunchbacked old ladies. Wait, so how do I, th how do I throw my grenade? Left weapon one, tertiary weapon, throw weapon G. All right. And then there is a Zelda two ROM hack that I started. Um, nothing here. Okay. Yeah, just like this bad Zelda 2 hack. Where it was it was pretty much like the same kind of stuff that other people would eventually do with um shit. Well, I think I played this terrible ROM hack of Zelda 2 that was like basically doing the same shit that I did, but you know, they actually like had like some level of completion to it. Oh, wait. 
Now, so with this stuff, you can, like, throw it. But, like, I just wind up dropping it. And this is, like, a chemical. Alright, through it. Use... Yeah, this is just, like, I guess it's just, like, I gotta just, like, aim it up to throw it, maybe? No, I literally, like, I just drop it. Oh, kick to throw. Alright, thanks, Duke Duke. Oh, they got like- Oh! How are you, gentlemen? Uh-uh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this stage. Probably. So how are these like little uh, pistols here? Little cowboy guns. That sounds like it's gonna be like a big blobby enemy. That uh, that that big goop is basically that is my health meter. That distant blorping sound. It makes me think a lot of the PlayStation soundtrack for Doom, which is... There's like a weird delay when shooting that gun, I don't like it. Oh, that's it already? Target eliminated, alright. Do you have a cool gun? Oh, actually, wait, I didn't even, like, equip the, the gun I picked up the last round, either. What's this? Just nondescript flash for no reason. Alright, let me... Get the fuck out of here, then. Target's already dead. Just a chair with faces on it. Totally normal. Now I forgot what I was talking about. We were talking about nesticle... Um... Oh no, there are more targets. I was talking about nesticle, like, uh, I got distracted by the, the killings here. Space Jam time. Oh yeah, I was talking about the Doom for PlayStation soundtrack. Um, oh god. Um. Yeah, Doom for PlayStation which is actually the first, well, technically, the first version of Doom I ever played was the terrible 32X version. Like, that was pff, not good. Just not fucking good. Um. Like, it ended... It only had, like, 13 levels, I think. Trolls were bad. And I was like, damn, this is this is what it's all about? This is, this is the game? This is Doom? And then I later learned that I just played a shitty version. 
But then later on, I would play the uh, the PlayStation version, which is, as I understand it, one of the better Doom ports. That was dope, but like then, like that was like the first proper version of Doom that I ever played. Um, but it has a totally different soundtrack from the PC version. And while like PC, the PC version has like those uh those metal remake songs. That are they're awesome. Don't get, oh my god, no, this is not a good place to be. Or maybe it is. They didn't drop any brains this time though. Um The soundtrack for the PlayStation Ultimate Doom is so sick. And relatively few people here have heard it. It's a very different soundtrack from the PC one, because it's all, like, atmospheric, and you have, like, a voice in the background like this. Like, there's this one stage that had this kind of soundtrack, and it freaked me the fuck out. Well, this, like, it's a biological police gun of sorts. Five shots, use them. I guess this is why you said go slowly, huh? Go in the front door. Oh, you can go through there too, huh? Somebody saw me. Where are you? Oh, yeah, it'd be nice if I reloaded. Wait, was that? Oh, I think it just, like, posted Sabrina's again, but thank you, Sabrina. Yeah, it's like, it's do Streamlabs is doing a thing now where it shows the old Super Chats again. What's happening? I'm gonna have to like do what I did before to stop him, but I don't know why this keeps happening. Wait, I lost my good gun. I don't know where I put it. There it is. No, not it. Yeah, all right, so now I'm back here, and I'll, this time I will not walk into that trap. There's this one here. What, but there's like, alright, so that's where the trap was in here. There's a side door that I missed. Oh, 
Oh, this one. Okay. What is this? Some Alice in Wonderland shit? Oh, yeah. Uh, that makes sense, uh, Kamino Yumi. That the, uh, the Doom... That there would be the Doom, that the Doom 64 composer would be the same composer as, uh, the PlayStation. Oh, what the, oh, what have I done? What the fuck? I, I guess I'm gonna not do that this time. But yeah, it makes sense that the composer for the PlayStation Doom would be the same composer for the Doom 64. It's a very similar vibe, those soundtracks. Can I not? I guess not. Thought that would have been the purpose of this. Oh, that's because I'm too close? Yeah, okay, it's not- yeah, I see. God damn it. I don't think that's the best place to be doing it, I guess. Oh, there's flashlights. Oh, Alright, that's like, so like, there were those dark basements that I saw before. I guess that's why I might need that. There's not unlimited ammo, no. Doom 64 is something at some point that I might go stream too. Like that game, in my opinion, is a very underrated game. Maybe it might not hold up. I know that's a thing that happens sometimes. You're like, oh, this game's underrated, and then you go play it and it doesn't really hold up. We'll see. I kind of I felt that way about the first uh, Tecmo's Deception. Like Tecmo's Deception was this game. I just remember it being like awesome that I played it, and it, that game did not hold up. But I feel like ah, oh, that's not what I want to do. I feel like Cayero probably holds up the second one, which that might be another one I go back to at some point. Even, like, the more modern Deception that was made, too, I remember being pretty enjoyable. There's, like, a PlayStation 3 one, I think? Oh, God. Wait, what's... Oh, you... Oh. 
Holy shit, dog. It's like I see somebody looking at looking at me, but I don't see where they are. You know what, let's start this over. There's a suicide button. Where's the suicide button? Su oh, suicide is K. Bum bum bum. The Deception games are another one. It was just like a really like interesting approach to a kind of game. I feel like you don't see as much experimenting with games in general. Like I remember like there used to be like so many different like weird like concepts for games. Like Deception was just like you 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 had this castle and people come here to trap them and steal their souls or do all kinds of stuff with them. First Deception game has like I think it has six different endings. Depending on like whether you like kill people or take their souls or whatnot. There were fewer for deception too. But another one was like Katamari Damashi. How do you even think of something like that? But then those ones, it's kind of like, they're like super fun to play, to go back to and play at first. But I feel like now they kind of get old fast. So this is like a secret stage, I think, right? If I exit that way. It looks, to the looks of it, it's a different one. I do like that, um, for, for Deception 3, not Deception 3, um, like the more modern Deception games that are on, uh, It was either a PS3 game, or I don't even remember. But, but like, like, the one that's like super, like, more anime style. I kind of like that they decided to, like, take that aesthetic direction for it, and, like, give the game, like, this whole, like, kind of, like, almost like a action-y kind of feel to it. Because it's, like, a whole, like, it gives it a whole, like, fresh vibe. As opposed to just like kind of like being another take on the same old games. And then it like it made a whole like thing out of like the comboing system. Which was like a, a nice added uh. Added thing to like make it more fun. I never, I don't think I ever finished it though. Now that I think about it. We got food in here just in case. Footsteps over there. Uh-huh, go go explode into fart gas in your own corner. Any more? Is that all of them?
I wonder if that, like, it's because it sounds like the giant, that, that, like, the fucking oinking, whatever the fuck kind of voice. It sounds like it's coming from a direction. So I'm not, I'm, like, I'm not sure if it's, like, part of the soundtrack or if it's, like, something in world. What it sounds like is in the world. Oh, oh no, you do so much damage. Oh no, you are one of the targets. No, oh my god. Ah. God damn it. Get the life goggles, they help out a ton. It, it sounds like something that'll keep me from dying in two seconds. As soon as I get into a firefight, so. Might have to take a look at that. Speaking of the bargain windows games, I remember like back in the day, like my mother had a friend who would like get who like I think she worked for a company that just made like those like shovelware titles that were like, you know, you, they had to create that electronics boutique, and just like all the random five dollar titles. So I would, I would just like get those, and some every once in a while there was one that was like kind of okay. Like there is this one, it wasn't a great game, but it was it was like this like rock manage rock band management sim game it was kind of like like if you ever played that old game they used to to, to make you play in school to like kind of like teach about math and business where you have like a hot dog stand or whatever it's kind of like that but with bands that was a pretty good one I forgot what the fuck it was actually called though all right the Come here, I know you're gonna be coming for me. Still hear footsteps. Ah, oh, thought the fart lady died too close. Just barely didn't touch me. Yeah, you're a fart lady. This song actually kind of reminds me of a song from uh, Doom, but I don't remember which one. Because it has like that kind of like that slow, that slow vibe that it all of a sudden like has like a couple notes come in. What's up, Julia? Oh, I don't think I saw this room before. Oh, you're like special and you're healthy. Oh no, he's behind glass. Oh, he's not behind glass anymore. What? What? What the fuck? What just happened? Yeah, 
Was that like my character getting scared or something? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Why did my like screen freak out when that happened? Although I guess like it's that enemy that kind of enemy does that. Have I played Demolition Girl? No, I have not. Is that uh, what? What's Demolition? I imagine it has something to do with Demolition Men, but never heard of it. There was I also like I never played that Demolition Man Sega CD game. I think it was a Sega CD game. Every time I get up here, it's like, oh, are you kidding me, man, with the fucking fall damage? Ah, I hate shit like that. Wait, what's happening here? Oh, I'm waiting for you guys. Yeah, the booger turned orange because that's my health, and now I have orange health. I know there's another one of those fart chicks walking around, though. Let's try a different doorway over here. Just one of those terrible guns that has the delay. Oh, wait. Oh, that's another one of those assassins, huh? It's one of my people. Now you're one of my people I ate. See, I know there's another one of those, like, green chicks walking around. That explodes, because I there was a second one that came at me the last time I did this. Uh, mutation design. Yeah, like, I was going to try and do both Twitch and YouTube, but it kind of just makes sense for me to do just YouTube. Because I realized that, like, I was like, I used to be worried that I would kind of, uh, fuck the channel up algorithmically by doing live streams, but, like, that doesn't seem to be the case, and at the same time... I used to be like, oh, like, I'm, like, diversifying my reach if I stream on Twitch instead of YouTube, but the, the, the discovery is so, like, bad on Twitch that, like, you don't really grow on Twitch unless you grow somewhere else, and, uh, oh, oh, I guess that's what that guy does then, because my vision started to fuck up until I killed him. Yeah. 
But yeah, like pretty much like to grow on Twitch, you must grow off of Twitch and then send people to Twitch. So it's like if I already have a YouTube, if I have people on YouTube that is, that watch me already, why even send anyone over to Twitch? So now that this is like opened, is there anything worthwhile in here even? No, that was just the grand entrance for this crazy new type of guy. Damn, there's a lot. Oh! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! Alright, let me see what, like, stuff there is then. Speed Enhancer, Body Armor... Bio suit. I have nowhere near enough cash for these. Life Goggles, I don't see Life Goggles. Nightmare Vision Goggles, Skull Gun, Life Sensor. I'm assuming these are the life goggles, the life sensor. I have nowhere near enough cash for that. That being said, like, there are, like, other things to fucking... There are, like, unlockables and shit. Secrets I missed before. I sell these livers. Do I not have two, li two livers here? Oh yeah, I do have that gun that I picked up off a of boss. Not that I think it's going to help with this fucking situation. Let's try try going through the front again. Not really crazy about this gun.
Shotgun's a bit better. Don't forget, I got the potato chips back there and the vending machine. There's snacks all over the place. I thought that was like the, those uh, those things that were uh, that I thought that was like a, the salad fucking things blocking it, but it's not. Yo, what's going on, Max? Max Mofo, yo, this game's trippy as fuck. You should try it out. Like you get torn the fuck up. It, like you get torn up so fucking fast when they start shooting you, but. It's like, it's like I'm running around cannibalizing dudes. It's like biological hitman. Thanks, Jeffrey. I'm, I'm glad I could uh, assist you on your fucking turd. I see what happened. Those guys that I normally kill over there ran out because they heard sound. I was like, did they just not spawn this time? They did spawn. I fucking killed them. Shot them in their fucking heads. Oh, is that... That's the guy that fucks... Oh my god, that's... So that guy definitely just like fucks up your uh, your camera and shit with his big elephant head. Come on, man. Silence pistol to uh to avoid aggroing everyone. I'll try it. But it, it kind of like it almost seems like it's like even when I'm using the silent pistol, everyone just gets aggroed anyway. come out well, I just oh I saw like so I looked over to the chat I see the cum board and then I realized it's like that uh little cruelty scrod sign you're talking about 
Everybody running. I can hear all the footsteps. Where do I get my ideas for videos? I mean, I actually, like, I... I kind of, like, I have a notepad, like, as I think of a video, I'll write it down in, like, the notepad. Where'd he go? I'll, I'll, like, it'll just be, like, an idea for, like, something I remember will come to me. Every once in a while, someone will suggest something to me that I'm like, oh, it's a pretty good idea. Well, usually it's just, like, stuff I'll remember and be like, oh, yeah, like, that'll be a good video. Eventually. It's gonna be a target back here. Yeah, the booger is my health meter. Oh god. There's one down. Unleashing his fart into the world. Yeah, definitely. I actually, honestly, I'm gonna tell you, like, I never played the original Perfect Dark either. Well, it's like heresy. But, uh, I've seen it, and it definitely, like, aesthetically, like, does remind me of quite a bit of that from what I've seen of it. Do I ever get disturbed about it? Actually, like, the video I put, like, so I did a video on the Broken Arms one. Should be out sometime this week. And from years of Reddit Broken Arms being a meme, I kind of, like, forgot how fucked up that story is. And I was like, damn, like, this is, cause I was, like, kind of think about it in the same way, like, you think of, like, Swamps of Dagobah or any of those fucking reddit stories but then I like a few times like when I was like messing like with making a broken arms video I'm like damn I don't know if I want to make this one but then eventually it was just like you know what I might I should do it just cause it's like it's kind of in that vein I got a lot of people asking about it so fuck it I'm gonna do a, a broken arms video so look for that this week as well as an interview with the My Little Pony Gum Jar guy. Oh, oh it's the, like the fucking brain guy. So he like teleports me and shit. Holy shit, that's so fucked up. You know, I'll go through these and uh, get what the fuck. You're like all like in the wall and shit. Do I want this shotgun here? But yeah, I was actually, like, I never did an interview of any kind before. The only reason I did it, because, like, he was hitting me up, and I was like, damn, this is, like, I don't know about doing an interview, but this is kind of, like, too good to turn down, you know? Like, this, that's, a, like, a thing that, like, people are going to want to see, so. And it turned out pretty well. I was kind of, I was worried that it was going to be an awkward, like, interview with like without like good rapport or whatever the fuck but i'm very satisfied with how it turned out we got like it was about like a half hour or so about a, like a half hour long interview and then i'll have like the intro where i'm just kind of like talking about how uh how i like verified him and shit to make sure he's like the actual guy 
And like maybe like a little bit of the lore just for people who are brand new. Although at this point, like I don't know how you can like not know about this guy. Staircase. I feel like I'm looking for a staircase here. Oh no. God fucking damn it, man. Ah. Uh... Let me start off with the silence shit. God fucking damn it, man. Yeah, so, yeah, actually, I think the interview with the guy, too, like, I think we did kind of, like, get a lot of interesting stuff. Like, just, like, about the guy and the jar and shit. Well, that didn't, oh, that already turned out like shit. And honestly, the, um, I'm going to see how, like, people, like, receive the interview, because I feel like, you know, there's kind of, like, there's a few people that I could potentially, like, interview, and it would be, like, a good video that people would want to watch, so I could see how it goes. I think, because I think the, the interview itself, I think it wound up being, like, a very entertaining piece of content. There's like someone I was thinking about doing a video about the um have you ever seen that 4chan um like some guy just posted a picture of 4chan that was like a, a Lola bunny room just like piles upon piles of like Lola bunny dolls and statues and various merchandise Oh what why was why did oh cuz I picked up the shitty fucking revolver Scum poke your hands out. Yeah, so like the Lola Bunny like doll guy, like that might be a story, but then it's like Someone had, like, he's, like, the guy is, like, around now, like, on Twitter. So he might be, like, just, like, a... I don't know how, like, what kind of interview I can get out of him if you would want to do it. But uh, it could be another interesting... Another potentially interesting one. Yeah, like, the revolver may one-shot people on the stage, but at the same time, it has, like, a delay before it fires. I don't know about that. Let me find the guy. And hit him with it. Worry about it later. This game, the thing is, like, this game was going to be for PS5, but then it, they couldn't handle the graphics. 
So I had to like make it a PC exclusive. Oh, I walked into his fart. Yeah, the green blob is my health. It's funny too, like, uh, so the cum jar guy, he has his, his YouTube channel is still active. Well, somewhat active, like, he, he, like the last video he posted, I think it was like two months ago, and it's a review of a Batman knife. Uh, but then the like, comments are like, come on, man, we know, we know what you did, you can't just, can't just go and like, make a Batman knife review. But like, I don't know what people expect, like, they want to just like, keep on like, coming on more things. Gonna branch out a little bit. That guy is just uh, cautiously watching those boxes. Uh, I guess they're all looking for me now. So it's, it's revolver time. Maybe. <laughs> Explodes him. I guess the delay is worth it, huh? Maybe it's not worth it. <sighs> you see, like I had killed the I I had killed the guy in that first room with the silenced pistol, but they got aggroed anyway, and then I had to switch to revolver, but it wasn't wasn't worth it. This game, uh, it's, it's technically, this is still an early release. It, the early release was put out in January, I believe. And it's like, it's the whole game, but they're just like, gonna like, do more stuff to it. Yeah. Do not like the revolver. They just do so much damage. No, this isn't... This is just a game that's made to look like it's from this time period. From, like, the early 2000s or whatever. There's a lot of games like that right now, and I'm very into that aesthetic.
should have told I have a grenade. I should have just like tossed it in there. Pick up the shitty fucking revolver. It's like Hitman with Katamari Damashi style graphics. That would be pretty nice. Like, cause like the, the Katamari Damashi shit, it's like even more like deliberately low pixel. I mean, low polygon. Be interesting to see. There's no room back here, huh? Oh, oh, that's. Wait, what the fuck? I did not press my. Uh, I didn't think I pressed my grenade button. Yeah, actually, it's very reminiscent of the original Unreal. I actually, now that I think about it, I never really played Unreal Tournament much, but the original, what is this over here? Can't really do anything about this. That's just a useless pathway, huh? I played the original Unreal campaign a lot back in the day, but I never finished it. Oh, so you're a brain destroying guy. Again. Where did she go? You vanished? Nowhere to be seen. Wait, I think I'm... I must have pressed the wrong button because I, I pushed the button to like throw my what I thought would throw my grenade but instead it threw my gun at them I think that's what happened the last time too uh-huh Jesus Christ my controls are doing all kinds of things I like threw my gun at them somehow. <sighs> now that I have three health. Still like alive guys here. I'm definitely like I'm like you can eat some of the remains too. I don't know. I tried that before and it, like it didn't work. Bring I gotta yeah. See, I just like I try to eat it and it just drops it. The only way, I was able to eat it before when I had the grill, and I put the remains on the grill and it cooked them. When that happened, oh, this is the other side of that, like, little miniature thing. Or no, it's not even the other side of it, it's just, like, a thing that, like, is like it, like, fucking, uh... That's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. 
No, but I mean, I, I'm able to eat the dead bodies. But then it's like you only get like one piece of the dead body. You only eat the body and then it explodes out into a bunch of parts. And I'm pretty much dead now. Become small? Is that it like... Well, it looks like there's a thing to become small, because there's a little ass door, but I have not seen it. Oh, it's a hidden implant. Alright, that makes sense. What I should do is, like, try to go back to the beginning, get that- Oh, no, I- I think I ate everything that was in the vending machine, even. God. <sighs> Alright, maybe I'll try like the other way around again. I played Hylix. I don't know what's Hylix. That sounds like, judging by the name, Hylix sounds like a puzzle game. Actually, like, Hylix sounds like something like when, like, there was just like a bunch of, like, bejeweled type games on your phone. The game is dope, but now, like, this stage is making me lose my fucking mind. Actually, I haven't tried going up this fucking ladder. Yeah, I mean, uh, this definitely is Among Us, because you can see, like, that guy was even wearing the Among Us suit. He was, uh, the green... F I it's been so long since I played Among Us, I don't even remember what the guys are called now. I just call it the fucking green guy in a suit. He's the green. He's the green mungus. There's a. Oh, I thought that was a brain or something I could take. Well, one target, two target. Oh, we back to the. Uh, the the Joker stages. Nothing good in there, though. I mean, this is a, there's 13 stages, I think, so there very well could be a sewer le level. Oh, you mean like just like going through the well like that? I guess yeah, that is this that is the sewer level of this game. You know they got that fancy shotgun in here, but I don't necessarily know that I even, like, want it. I'll 
try though. I've yet to like I got this a few times, but I've yet to actually like manage to fire it. Judging by the look of it, I imagine it's like a gas bomb or something. Oh crap. Oh I see. So now this is like the intro part. Alright, let's see what it does. Oh yeah, it is exactly what I thought it was. And not alright, I'm dead. Wait, how did I just dropped it? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, that's right. I did. That's what it was. All right, yeah, I don't like this weapon. I'll not go for it this time. It's one of the best weapons in the game. I don't know, man. It's, I feel like the area where it works is, like, too small. Unless there's, I guess, there's, like, certain choke points where it, it gets worthwhile. No, there is no difficulty setting. The game just is what it is. Nightmares about transforming it into a bouncy castle. Well, sir, there's no the nightmare is a reality. Don't even need the stale pizza. Thanks, EJ. Glad you liked the stream. Well, he has like a this guy has like a some kind of shotgun, right? You get the invisibility suit. Get the invisibility. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said like that, but uh, all right, invisibility. I imagine that greatly helps with the with. I accidentally threw a grenade. Wait, so I'm clearly pressing a. I guess that's number three. I hit by accident that threw my grenade. Oh wait, I don't want that. I want my silence pistol. Alright, there's one. Full health, let's get the other one. I, I'm standing- actually, I have, what am I doing? I have like my, my nice leaning stool. That is much better for you than just standing all day. Yeah, actually, yeah, let me, if three is throwing my grenade, let me change that shit. Tertiary weapon. Oh, I see what happened. So I was pre- I thought throw weapon was like a weapon for throwing. But, uh... 
is it and it turns out there yeah, now I have the side mouse key to throw a grenade it turns out that it, like it throws my weapon that was confusing me I thought it was like throw weapon like a throw weapon like a grenade is a throw weapon no it means I you literally throw your fucking weapon and your enemies are just like what are you, why are you throwing this at me what do you want me to do with this Oink, 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 oink. I must go upstairs somehow. Oh, that's where they had like the big ears guy. Look at his big ears, Mar. Let's keep that closed. I got locked up in here because someone saw me naked through my bedroom window. Can you believe it? I keep having these recurring nightmares about... Oh, that guy told me about the bouncy castle already. I just want to go... Leave. I open the door. I don't know where the food they give us here comes from. I swear it moves sometimes. And the headache it gives me is something else. That's that Panda Express. Oh, that's a brooding cool online man. Not even like oh Not even Panda Express doesn't really bother me, but there is like this Chinese food at my old college, the college cafeteria. Like I have like a generally like a pretty strong stomach. There's not a like I'm not someone who really gets nauseous from like food or whatever. But the Chinese food at Queens College back when I went would always give me a stomach ache. No matter like no matter how much or how little, like it wouldn't, I wouldn't get food poisoning from it. It would just like make my stomach hurt. Like, I wouldn't get nauseous or anything like that. It was the weirdest fucking thing. And it's like it's, it tastes and looked very Panda Express. Like it was just like poison Panda Express or something. I don't know. See, I feel like the way up is like somewhere. Went all around here. Killed this guy. Here's the fun house. See, if I go in here, there's like a trap that kills me. But then there is this way over here. And it's like I can't go through the I can't go through this yet because I don't have the, like the thing that shrinks me. That door's a bunch. There's a bunch of alligators in there. I want that launcher to kill the other target. Oh yeah. All right. Don't really. Because it seems like all it does is like it's like a gas gun. You know what? We you know what bothers me about it. It feels like by the time I manage to actually use it, I'm just going to get like shot up because you die so fast. Where do I find these unique games? Uh, Zachary, I just... There's like a lot of like... 
indie devs that I follow that uh, see what happened to my gun now oh I'm like zoomed in I saw actually I found this game because Dave Oshry was uh, tweeting about it so that's how I found about found out about this game But then a lot of these devs I found out about through the, the Dread X collections. There's three Dread X collections. And the, like they'll they'll basically be like short games made by indie horror devs. So that's kinda like I, how I kinda got exposed to a lot of these developers is through those. I think there's another one coming soon too. Are they not coming through, or...? Oh, there we go. But that was only one of them got killed. More of you guys coming through? Oh, no, I don't want that. I want to eat your body. Oh, it's crazy boy. Um, now I haven't been streaming on Twitch just because I said a few times, but like people keep asking. So, actually, like what it, what it, what I really even thought to stream on YouTube instead of Twitch was when Twitch banned my emotes. I had my goat sea mode and my jar man bone, and like everything just got taken down all at once and I was like, oh well. I mean not that it's like, oh my god, they took my uh, precious emotes, what am I gonna do? But it's annoying. And then I thought, like, why don't I stream on YouTube? Because it's like the algorithm feels like it's changed in such a way that you don't really fuck your channel up anymore the way you used to. By uh I used to fuck your channel up by mixing up your content. But you don't really do that. At least I don't think you do. It doesn't seem like it fucks you up like it used to. Um, so I was like, well, let me give it a shot. And, ju and just see what happens. And actually, after the... Uh, after the, the first time I streamed on YouTube and like... Recent memory. Oh, oh god, I just ran out and fucking, ugh. And now I need a different amount of bullets. But yeah, the first time I did that, after kind of like deciding to give it a try, like, I got a huge boost in like my videos. Like, I don't know if that's why I got a boost in the algorithm. From streaming, but it coincided with it for sure. So as a R, well, not only well, it definitely doesn't fuck you up in the algorithm, and it very likely helps you in the algorithm to uh, stream. Well, here's the thing, Mister T. Like, I was originally like I was kind of like worried about streaming on Twitch 
I, I'm not worried about it. Like the reason, part of why I want to stream on Twitch as well was that it's like, oh well, I can kind of like diversify my reach, not have all my eggs in one basket. But then, ah, oh, see, like. That gas then killed them all. Like, I, at first I was thinking that, like, oh, I can, like, diversify my reach. Reach people who only watch Twitch and don't really watch YouTube. But then it was, like, the, the, there's, like, no, like, discovery on Twitch is basically non-existent. Like, new people generally just don't find you on Twitch. Very, very rarely. Cause like they don't they just don't really have the tools to do it on the site. So at that point then it's kinda like, well if it's like if I'm focusing time on streaming to uh like basically I like I'm sorry for like repeating myself for like the people who like were here already, but like I got like new people asking it too, so it's you, on Twitch, like, the only way you really grow on Twitch in 2021 is that you have, you have to, like, build your platform on another site like YouTube or Instagram or Twitter. Not even Twitter, because, like, people don't really leave Twitter. Like, if you build a platform on Twitter, it's just good for Twitter. But, like, you build on something else, even, like, TikTok... And then, like, then you can be like, oh, I'm streaming on Twitch. And then people may or may not go. But then it's like, if you've already built your platform on YouTube, and people watch you on YouTube, and, like, now it's not so much where you fuck yourself up by streaming to the same channel you put regular videos on, then it's like, what's, what's even the point of Twitch? And on top of that, they want all kinds of, like, exclusivity shit that you're not really getting anything in return for, so it's... It's kind of like... What's up, University? Climb along the wall. I see that. I saw that there was like that diagonal on the wall. Oh, I see. It's like a little like thing. Oh, now I die. <sighs> God fucking damn it, dude. Yeah, that's the thing too, like, if you got a lot of people, like, watching you on YouTube already, or, like, most people aren't really gonna want to make a, like, fucking, they're not gonna want to bother making, like, a, a Twitch account to participate in shit, so, like, maybe they'll, like, sit there and watch quietly. But really, like, 100 uh -huh, just st casually standing with his gun drawn. You son of a bitch. Yeah, also, yeah, that's another thing, uh, long shot. The, uh, the culture of Twitch is, like, so fucking lame to me. Like, I don't, it's like a, a lot of, like a lot of like the, the fucking like the slang on there it's like that sounds so fucking corny 
You said how are how are you gonna say? Like like to say to like not just like type poggers, but to say it with your mouth. Ew, yuck. And plus, it's like every time like because like I don't really like watch a lot of Twitch streamers either, and it seems like half the time when they are like on my fucking radar, they're like it's like some like they're like crying about something stupid. Especially after all the, the DMCA shit. Like, it's like, they are, like, not prepared for what's coming for them in that regard. Like, YouTubers have been, like, taking it up the ass with DMCA for long enough that everyone's just kind of like, we, we, know, we know what the score is. But now it's, like, all the shit that, that, like, they think they're, like, legally in the clear for a lot of stuff that they're not legally in the clear for. Alright, so here's the, uh... The other ramp. And it's like, oh, you're gonna like, you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn today. Alright, here we go. But then it's like, Twitch itself doesn't really do much to, uh, to help you either. Oh, okay, hello. You drop anything good for me, boss? Oh, and he has like a little vent there too. What's this? This is probably like not the best idea to be doing, but I'm just like, oh, like a nice little cavern. Let me see what's in here. Yeah, let me vent out of here then. You guys are saying the vent is the easier way. What's all this down here? I feel like I'm gonna like fall off and not be able to see where I'm going. Got like a bottomless pit or are we platforming here? Oh no, I see the floor. Never mind. Okay, I know this area. Oh, 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 don't want to come that way. That's what the guards are that I didn't kill. Just take that so I have it. It's the exit, but like there was like another exit around this way, wasn't there? I forgot which way though. Not killing them. Oh, the yeah, the uh, the the Tim Allen Doom. Oh, 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 oh. I want to play that, and I want to play the Seinfeld one. Although, like, I was like thinking about the other day, someone had made like the uh, the pitch for the Seinfeld adventure game, and never finished it. And I was like, fuck, like, I really want to play that Seinfeld adventure game, but. 
It's a no go. Right on. Any games I'm looking forward to in 2012? 20, wow, 2012. We are way past 2012. 2021 games. Um, I mean, I'm looking forward to the new Ninja Turtles game for sure. I can't even think of what else I'm looking forward to. I think I'm going to end the stream here. Getting a little... Uh, oh, why, why did I click reach? Why? I don't want to reach. Why? Tell me that didn't like overwrite my winning of it. Wait a second. That's going to be real bad to me if I didn't. Oh, no. We got the next stage. All right. Cool. Mole Madness. Sounds good. But I think I am going to end the stream here. Um, hopefully I get some time to do another one of these soon. I want to do these more often, but I've just been like so busy, like just like editing and I got two, like I said, I got two videos coming this week. So look out for those. But anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out this morning. Early as shit stream. Glad you guys liked it. Peace out.